Freddy, you're supposed to be on lockdown. Mm, Freddy, you're supposed to be on lockdown. Me, 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 me. <laughs> Tell me your indoor cat won't survive in the wild without telling me. Mommy, I'm sorry, Ma. No longer going after Stranger Danger, going after his daughter. BRB, see you guys later. Whew. I am not surprised. That has to be her. But also, hi. Freddy, you're supposed to be on lockdown. Mm, Freddy, you're supposed to be on lockdown. Me, 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 me. <laughs> Tell me your indoor cat won't survive in the wild without telling me. Mommy, I'm sorry, Ma. No longer going after Stranger Danger, going after his daughter. BRB, see you guys later. Whew. I am not surprised. That has to be her. But also, hi. Freddy, you're supposed to be on lockdown. Mm, Freddy, you're supposed to be on lockdown. Me, 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 me. <laughs> Tell me your indoor cat won't survive in the wild without telling me. Mommy, I'm sorry, Ma. No longer going after Stranger Danger, going after his daughter. BRB, see you guys later. Whew. I am not surprised. That has to be her. But also, hi. Freddy, you're supposed to be on lockdown. Mm, Freddy, you're supposed to be on lockdown. Me, 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 me. <laughs> Tell me your indoor cat won't survive in the wild without telling me. Mommy, I'm sorry, Ma. No longer going after Stranger Danger, going after his daughter. BRB, see you guys later. Whew. I am not surprised. That has to be her. But also, hi. Freddy, you're supposed to be on lockdown. Mm, Freddy, you're supposed to be on lockdown. Me, 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 me. <laughs> Tell me your indoor cat won't survive in the wild without telling me. Mommy, I'm sorry, Ma. No longer going after Stranger Danger, going after his daughter. BRB, see you guys later. Whew. I am not surprised. That has to be her. But also, hi.
we go. I am doing perfectly fine at this. It's not been like two weeks since I last streamed. No, of course. No, it fucking has, I think. I don't know. When I last streamed, it's okay. I don't have any concepts of time anymore. Time is an illusion. Also, hi, Alex. I appreciate the um, on time, not late, the absence of lateness. That's not a thing. I, yeah, I needed the break, if full disclosure. Okay, hold up. There we go. Just making sure my computer decides to keep liking me today. I, I, well, I mean, part of it, I was in Germany. Part of it was like literally could not, and therefore, yeah, that was a big chunk of it. So part of it was Germany. And then I skipped Tuesday because I was, I had a bunch of other things happening too. I don't know. Oh, that reminds me. I didn't actually send a tweet. <laughs> Fuck. Hello. Welcome to Parker has no idea what they're doing anymore. Germany was amazing. It was actually a fantastic trip. Um, Germany was a really good trip. It was very, it was just a lot of fun. It was just a good time. Sorry, I'm sending a live now tweet because I forgot that I tweaked some of my settings and I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> A lot. I do know what I'm doing. I'm just not very... I'm... It's coming back. Germany was a lot of fun, though. Um... Oh, my God. Hmm... I, I'm pretty sure my brain has ceased working, is the problem. Like, so Germany was really cool for, like, one, I've never been in Germany. Two, the events that I attended were really interesting and really cool for a lot of different reasons. My, I don't, I don't know if I have head and watered my brain. I'll be totally honest with you. Um, there we go. Now we're actually doing this. Um, the problem is I, I know I have water right here. Take even extra on the hydrate. Yeah, so I, I don't know. I have been like, I've, it's been a good week, but it's been weird because for the first time in a long time, I let myself like hyper fixate on certain weird projects. Absolutely unnecessary projects, but it's been nice to just do something for the sake of doing it and not needing an end result. And like not needing it for content, not needing it for sales not needing it for anything other than my own stupid enjoyment <laughs> and like there's been a couple of those and so it which is great it's really cool in a lot of ways it's also just very weird in a lot of other ways um but yeah so yeah that's kind of that's kind of how it's been i don't realize it's a thursday either I barely recognize that it's September, although I'm very excited that it is. Um, admittedly, was just kind of excited to get back to this. I've been working on costume shit all day. My hands are, it's hard to see because it doesn't look as bad, I think, probably on camera. They are covered in paint and fabric tack. Because... I thought that was, I just, I just, I was like, I bought trim and then I was like, it is slightly too silver. How do I, how do I fuck with that? Well, I'll just paint it with spray paint and then wipe it down. So it doesn't have like strictly that, but it'll keep, it'll adhere some of it. And then I fabric glued it to the fucking, anyways, I'll share pictures later. I am an interesting individual. I know this for a fact. Um, <laughs> But yeah, so it's kind of nice just working on projects that have zero relevance to the world, if that makes sense. They're just for me. They're just for fun. I haven't done something just for fun in a while. So yeah, so it's good. Like, even this I didn't technically need to do. I'm, I've got other outfits I could wear to the Ren Fair, and I don't know. Yeah, I don't, I, and I haven't, I can't think of the last time I did do something for myself. Um, 
Not in that sense anyways. Normally it's, oh, I'll take time to play a video game by myself. So I did some sewing projects for myself. I've done some other kind of creative-ish projects for myself um, that are still in process. Other, eventually I will share because it is fucking shenanigans. Um, it's just silly, goofy stuff. But it's nice. Like, it's not for anybody other than me. So I... I accept it. I don't know. It's good times. That's also why I wanted to make sure I streamed today, because I love this fucking game, and I wanted to make sure I played some of it today, this week, period. Um, because I've been thinking about it since I left! That's the problem! Yeah, it has actually been exactly two weeks since I last streamed. Whoops! It's because of this fucking DLC, because it came out, and I got so mad, because I was like, fucking hell, I'm going to Germany. I'm not going to be able to do shit. Anyways, doesn't matter. Does a not a matter. So, I'm going to switch over to my other screen. Uh, we're going to... Oh, God. Come on. Okay. Okay. I fully intended to bring over a controller, now that I think of it. But I clearly didn't. I don't remember. Where we, we went on a bunch of dates where we last left off. What? What do you want, sir? Um, you, this, this one. This is the good emoji. I'm not making, I'm not teaching you eggplants. Yeah. I'm pretty sure what I need to start off by doing is dungeon. Pretty sure we just doing some dungeons. Which is good. We're okay with this. Um, we don't need the zines. Crafting, I think we've done everything we can do. I know, not eggplants again. I think we've been permanently, like, scarred from that. I 100% meant to look into, um, my brain completely stops functioning. The problem is, okay, so because I'm not working, my brain is like, doot, 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 doot. Um, that is my brain. There is nothing else. Hi, Brandon! How's it going? How we doing, friend? No, why is it good? Oh, I forgot I have the axe now! Oh, I forgot the axe is a thing. We're gonna make that. We're gonna. Oh, but no, I love her. Okay, we're gonna start off here. What? Um, I don't remember how many floors this place has. How you doing, Brandon? How's it going? Welcome to my brain not entirely functioning. Meetings day. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Fair. I know those days. Those days are fun for the brain. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I have a beret on It's now. nice that it's not so crowded. Oh, you are loud. You are much louder than I wanted you to be. Mm. Maybe that's just for me. The rest of this isn't too bad. Okay. Do, 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 do. I didn't really actually... Uh, that's a trap. We're not going in there. I hope the meetings have been good, though. Like, good, productive type meetings and stuffs. Oh, God. Mm. Do, 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 do. No, I don't need zines. I don't need this shit. Come on. Oh, fuck. Monster free zone. Excellent. I want all of the treasures. And then I will spend time with the girlfriend here. Wow. Feels nice to stretch out after a long session of stabbing monsters. When I'm a dagger, I'm more focused, but more tense, too. You enjoy it, though, right? Of course. Why do you think I'm here? The pay isn't that great. She nudges you playfully and sits on the fountain's edge. Oh, darling. Would you like to offer a gift? Um. Let's give her the strawberry look raspberry liqueur. Hey, BK, how's it going? Yes, that was a good gift. Okay, or at least not a disliked gift. We're fine. Oh, thank you, really. You sit together in companionable silence. Thanks. Thanks. That was nice. My life could use a little more peace. Hell yeah. We're good. How's it going, BK? How you been? What's new? What's happening? Where am I going? I know. I do not want you to come over here, sir. I was going to go south. Hi, Aki. 
no worries. Lurking work is all good. Hope you're doing good. Good luck with the work. Oh, God! Oh, this is a mistake. This was a mistake. I don't remember what I'm doing. Jesus. Oh my god, oh my god. I forgot that I don't know how to do- I don't- I do know how to do this, but I also don't know what I'm doing. Am I out? 100% I am. I forgot that I put the chat in that spot. It's a life choice. Oh my god. Oh, we are in pain. We are in pain. Please have boba. I need this to heal. Oh my god. Got a free hoodie. Got gross- Where'd you get a free hoodie from? At groceries, got a coffee for the first time in a month. But isn't it the first of the month? Am I missing something there? Now I'm curious. Anyways. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Oh my gosh. It's September, y'all. When did that happen? I have no idea. Okay, so she's almost max. That's good. I nearly died. We're going to get past that. How do you get from a Twitch streamer? Oh, that's so cool! Ah! Hello and welcome to Parker just panics! That is what I'm gonna call all of the streams for the month of October is Parker panics. That is literally all it's gonna be. Hey, free merch is free merch. Free hoodie too? Is it a nice hoodie? Is it a comfy hoodie? I have to know. I get very curious about these things. I don't need the zine. I need boba. I actually got bubble tea today. Yes! Parker's panic party. That's what it's gonna be, okay? We'll do we'll do spooky, scary skeletons in October, and it's just gonna be Parker's panic party all month long. Ooh! Kigurumi recipe. I wanna make a kigu. I fucking love kigus. That's the hashtag. <laughs> yep, done. Oh my god. I still need to figure out what games we're playing that month, but I am ex I am excited and terrified already. Um Oh, that's where I started. Fuck. I am an idiot and that's okay. Let's open up uh oh yeah, find out if it's comfy hoodie. What the God damn it. I don't need hmm. that health. I mean, I could take it. Reminiscent of Steinlin, but even more poppy and mainstream. Probably just lazy knockoff. But it's possible the artist is knowingly commenting on the commercial placement. It'd be nice if the piece were, bo if the piece were both pe pretty and honest. They're both in co important components. Wouldn't you say in art, of course? Sure, both are essential. <laughs> you're disagreeing with me, coward. You and me were doomed if you're a liar, even just as friends. I'm not a liar. <laughs> Guess we'll find out sooner or later, huh? There we go. At least I'm fully healed. As I probably dive into... Oh, God. Oh, Jesus! This is a bad face! This is a very, very, very bad face! Oh, God. Oh, God. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Jesus. Wahaha. <laughs> Remember that time where I'm just not good at this shit? I forgot. I'm just gonna keep circling. Oh my god. <gasps> I forgot that where I left this game off was uh, me not doing so hot with this whole component of the game. I forgot that I, I was okay at this. Back when I played this like literally a year ago, why did this, why did nothing give me healing? This was mean. You should have given me healing. 
That was rude of you. Oh my god. Okay, well, Valeria's max, so we're gonna change weapon. Um... The problem is the rapier sucks. <laughs> or the S-Doc sucks. Straight up. Um, so let's... I hate... I don't like Sunder, but we'll use Sunder for a hot beat here. I've also already given Valeria a gift, so, like, I can't do much more. Come on. Oh, God. Okay, this isn't so bad. I say... <gasps> Wait. Sending machine, always a good thing. Um, well, one bubble tea, please, for the love of all that is holy. Okay. Okay, then I can't do anything else. That's fine. I will take a heal. Nope, I don't think I want to go into that room. That looked like a lot of stranger danger! I forget that this is at least a very strong weapon, if nothing else. Okay. Oh, this leads, might lead back to where I started? Fuck. Ah ha ha! This is not good. This is awful! Or it's not, I'm okay, maybe I'm not as bad at this as I think I am. Um, however, I have to go into that room. Fuck me. Okay, this isn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Cool, thank goodness. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Everything is fine. We didn't die. Not yet. We're still holding strong. Um, and we got lots of money, which is, you know, also great. Oh, this is good. <gasps> yes! Son of a gun. The arm length is actually spot on for my leg. Yes, for him. Nice! That's exciting. Comfort level? How are we feeling? How cozy? I don't need zines. I don't know why I do this. Ah! Better call salt. Thank you for the follow. Hello, welcome. There is a 10 minute timer because that's how I do on these things. I had a very interesting time about a summer or so ago, so we put on a timer, but welcome. In 10 minutes, you'll be able to use the chat function, but thank you for the follow and welcome. I've said that like five times. Parker, what's wrong with you? Your brain is broken. <laughs> it's very comfortable. Excellent. I love that so much for you. Oh, free, comfy, and it fits. Like, come on. How often does that ever work out? Good times. Excellent times. Oh, massage chairs. You relax into the massage. Do you want to give them... Mm wake him wake the oh. fuck up Sorry. Uh, i'm sleeping i was just thinking sure sure you weren't buddy <laughs> but seriously though love that for you no gifts for you sir you can go fuck yourself apparently secret tunnel I do not want to do the battle, though, for the love of all that is holy. Thoughts can happen while sleeping. I mean, you're not wrong. What's in the box? What's in the box? Red Rose. Excellent. Somebody liked that. Isaac? I don't know. It's good for somebody. Okay. Hmm. Oh, Jesus! Come on. Oh, God, I only have one of these left. Come on. 
Oh, come on. No, I'm not gonna faint. Fuck that. I'm gonna get this. So help me. That said, I am getting by by the skin of my teeth. Uh, you know would be really nice? Boba. Boba would be wonderful. Bubble tea would be delightful. I've actually had bubble tea today. Managed to wake myself up from a nightmare yesterday by deliberately raising my heart. But that's impressive. How the hell? Huh? Like, fuck. Okay, so we got some healing shit. That'll that'll last me a little bit. That's impressive. Also, I hate nightmares. <laughs> so. Oh God. Wee! What do I even have? Do I? What do I even have a gift for this? Okay, I'm pretty sure fish and this lighthouse thing are both for my axe boys. So. Honestly, it's impressive. All right, let's roll. Come on. 33 years and I am now the master of the dream world. <laughs> Listen, better late than ever. I'm not even late. 33 is not late. I'm getting a lot of money. I feel like I've done fairly well in the money realm for once in this game. Do not want to do that battle, though. Oh, skating rink. Okay, cool. Come on, bubble tea. Someone give me bubble tea. I would like my bubble. Oh, there we go. Fuck, thank God. Okay. Sure, I'll skate a bit. Let's race. Ugh. Yeah, no, I would love to master sleep in any way, shape, or form. Um, I have this thing where sleep and me don't get along. We were doing, me and sleep got along great in Germany. Don't know how, but I was, I think because I was like running around all day um, and like very all over the place and like constantly busy. So I was exhausted by the time I hit my bed. So I slept amazing while I was in Germany. Um, coming back the first few nights, I actually still slept amazing. I think because I was still exhausted. The last two nights have been a little weird. I'm back to waking up at like four o'clock in the morning for absolutely zero reason, <laughs> which is annoying as shit. Um, Sunder, I really don't actually give a shit about you. I'm just doing it because I need to. Ooh, hello. Fuck, but this isn't give me a way out. Okay, bowler hat, cool. Oh, that's a nice chunk of coin. Sleeping really bad the last few nights too. Oh yeah? I am, oh good, so you're at least awake at that point in time in the morning. I don't get it. I am like, <gasps> secret tunnel. We're fine. <gasps> oh God, this is this is not nice. I thought normally these are nice. Normally these are nice tunnels and I get presents. I want gifts. Why are there no gifts? I, yeah, so I've been up really early in the morning, um, as Alex has seen lately. Um, okay, cool. There we go. Leather jacket. Dope, 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 dope. Racing game. Cool. Okay. Got some good gifts this time. I feel like I'm finding a lot more recipes in this playthrough than I did in the last one. Um, yeah, honestly, message me. I'm pro I might, I would, I likely will respond. I shouldn't, but I am probably awake. Um. Fuck all of you. Why are you like this? Come on, come on. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck especially you. Hello and welcome to Parker Swears for about an hour straight. Um, there we go. Not too bad. No, but honestly, like, I don't know what it is that my, with my body. It likes to wake up randomly in the middle of the night and I'm like, could you kindly not? Um, it's not, a, like, I can normally after a little bit fall back asleep at least. I'm doing good right now. This is weird. I feel like I haven't done this good on a dungeon a hot second, so. We're in the deeps. Okay, cool. This is where we might get to see another, um, 
Parker, what was that? I just pretended to stab in the air, but nothing in my hand. Oh my God, Parker, why are you like this? Okay. <gasps> Laser blade. It's seven. I need to go save seven. Which means going through here. Fuck! It's a mini boss. I mean that in the nicest way possible. Anyways. God fucking damn it. Well, at least. That was bad, that was bad, that was bad. So much of this is terrible. not normal. <gasps> yes, seven. Sorry. Give me my poor depressed boy. I missed him. Find a strange gadget. So I don't know why I'm playing this game, honestly. Y'all know I'm a sucker for Valeria, but I wanted to meet Jonah and Leah, and also the scary one that I probably shouldn't be into and is probably going to hurt me, but I still want to find them anyways. Story of my life. Anyways. If it's, if it's in your hands, me leave it. You're not trying to use it. Laser blade! There's laser blade! Thunder, go the fuck away. We don't like you. Laser blade! Laser blade! Everybody loves a laser blade. Hello, my sweet boy. Hello, my sad sweet boy. You're adorable and I love you. Hey. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, good. I feel slow. Like I took a really long nap. Yeah, it's okay, babe. Maybe I have a screw loose. Literally. Who are you both? What day is it? I literally ask myself that second question constantly. What day is it? What year is it? Who am I? What am I doing here? There's a lot of questions. I know the finger hearts are cute. I love their little cinematic sequences. They make me so happy. Tell them what you know. I've been down here two weeks. Well, thanks for waking baby. me up. I'm seven. Oh, baby. I should probably let my agent know where I've been. You have an agent? No. Hello. No I'm comment. good. How are you? Welcome. Yeah, no comment. Oh, God. Seven. You're, I forget that he's, like, very standoffish at first, but eventually he's adorable. How's it going? We're doing good. I have been... I took a break for a little bit from this game. Well, no, I took a two-week break from streaming, apparently, and then now I'm back, but, but doing I, good? No, I owe you one. At this I'll game? Coffee later. Sure. Uh-huh. You're also welcome. No, you don't. La Rosa can suck it. <laughs> Sorry, I've played this game before, so I have very specific opinions on people. <laughs> I'm playing this mostly for the DLC content that got released at the end of August, um, and I am, like... It fills my heart with glee, okay? That's all. That's all I've got. Okay. This is good. This is good. We are in such good directions, despite the fact this place looks like an absolute dumpster fire. Um, oh, God! This is... T why is that always me? Why am I like this? Parker, why? Why? Why am I like this? I just don't even know. Parker was kind enough to wait for me to come back for a... I got you? I'm glad it worked out that way. Aha! Chill spot. Let's do it. This is good. This is excellent. Nah. Ice cream. <laughs> no thanks. What? Watching your figure? Oh yeah, I forgot you only eat blood. Or drink blood. Whatever the word is. Can't have calories impacting my boyish physique after all. Fuck you. Oh, you probably want the rose. Hmm. 
Why do you think people come to the mall anyways? It's so sterile. This? This is sterile. This is sterile to you. And what's wrong with sterile? What is wrong with the bar that you own? Sorry. Spend time together. That's a sweet thought. I know I wouldn't come here without you after all. Ow, that hurt how hard I rolled my eyes. The only reason I'm using you right now is because you're actually a strong weapon, sir. I'm gonna regret this. Ah, oh, fuck. It goes back up there. Mm. Listen. That's the problem. I have very serious, like, very specific opinions on things now. Things that people- Oh, what the fuck? What? Did that move? Oh, my life. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, I did not mean to use that so early. Jesus, effing. These are strong mothers. I am probably gonna faint here, which is fine because I'm impressed that I made it this far at all. Come on, die already, you stupid phone. The giant rotary phone is what kills me a lot of the time, like in the sense of how is that even a thing? Oh god, there's two of you here. I didn't think. That! Ah! I have zero left, that's okay. Whoo! Uh, my favorite character is definitely Valeria. Um, Valeria, seven, once he warms up to you. Um, Pocket is also great, despite the fact they are just a cat. <laughs> but Valeria and Seven are my top two, but I'm really excited for Jonah, Leah, and um, Dr. Whips a lot. I don't remember their actual name. Um, this is the main reason why I'm playing this, because I just got very excited that we got new people. Also, Rowan. Rowan's adorable, actually, too. I just, I can't, I don't know. Isaac's not my type. Sunder pisses me off. Um... And Sawyer is a child to me, so unfortunately I can only look at them as like baby brother. Um, who I still adore. I still adore. I missed the last playthrough. I'm only now discovering why loathe Sunder. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, you just gotta deal with my attitude this entire time, which is pretty much me streaming anyways. I am just full of sass. Nice when you... Dr. Holmes, yes, that's exactly it. That's the name. Oh my god, no, I love Valeria. She, I, that was my main romance the first time I played this. Um, but obviously, like, I finished just a bunch of their full, like, getting them up to the full levels. But no, I love this game so much. It is genuinely one of my favorites. Okay, you're maxed. Good. Change weapon. Let's go to the axe. And that's the nice part is like, I, <laughs> oh God, oh Jesus, oh there's a lot. If you faint, it's no big deal. Um, disagree, respectfully, sir, I'm going to try again soon. Okay, here's the thing, I completed five floors. I don't think I've done that in a hot minute. Like I was doing two at a time. Sorry, Jonah, we got no time together. But yeah, no, Valeria is by and far my favorite. I will always love her. Jesus Christ. I'm very curious about Leah, though. But I have, a, I have like, two gifts set aside for Jonah, which is why I mostly wanted to. But if we, if I... Mm, it's fine. It's fine. We're good. We're doing fine here. Have you finished the game before, uh, Better Call Saul? As you leave the dungeon. You... Sorry, there is only one person on this game that I hate more than... I don't even hate Sunder. He just pisses me off. You, though. You. Motherfucker. Um. No. <laughs> Disrespectfully, no. Eric needs to get in the bin. I feel like we said that the last time, too. Leah's great. Oh, good. I haven't gotten in... I haven't met Leah yet. I'm really excited. I'm like, I'm super excited for this. I've been like living for this DLC content for a bit. Um, Eric going to get stay up lurking like that. He better. I'd be okay with that. I'm getting warm. We're getting a little heated here, clearly. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Parker. Just gets very, very passionate about very pointless things. Five times. 
Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. Excellent. No, Eric needs to get in the motherfucking bin, though. <laughs> Is I dark and I good? Go away. <laughs> Seven. My poor, my poor depresso boy. My depresso espresso. Okay, cool. I can craft some shit. Muffin stench is gone. Oh, baby. Eric needs to be pumped into an oversized toilet. Yes! Yes, he does! Okay, I made a racing game. Red rose. I don't know why wire is being used to make this rose. Okay, so I think I've done all of those. Onyx suit. How much... Okay, fabric do I need for... I want to make the leather jacket for... God damn it. I need, I need that thing for the Kigu. I want, oh no, I think I made the Kigu the last time. Hilariously, because of course I have. That's a sweet looking leather jacket. Um, just the Kigu and then, okay, that's it. Hastily lowered in some lava or burnt to the stake. Yeah, there's a lot of different ways that we could get him to go that I would be perfectly okay with. Oh, sorry, Buller Hat. I used up all the rest, all the flat fabric for that. Okay. I just like making these things. I'll be super honest. <gasps> Console unlocked. Oh yeah, I can play games now. Can't I? Okay, I learned the hard way that I forgot about this. Oh yeah, I forgot I haven't given that. <laughs> I forgot I haven't said that to you today, Alex. <laughs> oh, mostly because I have to give you a fun mod role, which is just people who have power over Parker. <laughs> Literally what it's called. Literally, that is all it is. Would you be satisfied if they just mysteriously disappeared one day? Uh, who, Eric? Yes, 112%. I don't need this game with Eric in it. I always do feel bad though, because I have a friend named Eric who I do adore. Um, so it's always entertaining. Sunder, go fuck yourself. Thanks again. Doctor says any damage I took will soon heal itself. Cool. Okay. I stretch. Okay. Okay. Everybody also stretch. Oh God, help me. I worked out today. Thank you for redeeming a stretch, better call Saul. Oh God. <laughs> See, I'm not sure I'd be that happy if Eric suddenly vanished. I'm perpetually waiting for him to show up again. Fair point. Oh, God. Well, who needs to see? Side is apparently overage right now. Yep, totally. Hey, BK. Go stretchies. Do the stretchies. I'm not asking for pics, but go stretchies. Oh, my God. Hey, honey. How's it going, Hammerstone? How are we doing? Oh my god. We're doing stretchies. It became stretchies. I don't know why. It, uh, huh. Hello, friend. How are we doing? Oh god. Oh, as we just cracked a bunch of things. and <laughs> I could literally probably spend an entire stream session just stretching, and it would not be enough. Um, Want to hang out? Could do. Doesn't matter. Coffee? Coffee's fine. Pumpkin space! Pumpkin space! Hi, friend. How's it going? I still- Okay, so I got pumpkin spice, but I got it from a different cafe. Like, I didn't do basic bitch shit. <laughs> I say that. That said, did H-Dog and I go out to Indigo and buy spooky season mugs? Hell yeah. Uh, she bought a ghosty. I bought a, a black cat. It's adorable. You'll see it on a stream sometime in the future. Yeah, it just needs to be washed first because I've, of course, already used it. Um, but no, I got I got pumpkin spice from another place altogether. From a, from this, like, really adorable vegan donut shop that we went to the other day. And by the other day, I mean quite literally yesterday. That entire series of events was yesterday. Okay, hydration too. Mmm. Water is very important. I require the spice in this flow. It's true. Um, wow, that was literally yesterday. This week has felt very long somehow. 
For context, I have been on a staycation this entire week, which has been fascinating. I am learning, in the sense of I am learning things about myself when I'm not exceptionally burnt out from work. It's very weird, anyways. <laughs> oh, goodness. But hello and welcome as I continue to do stretchies. But yeah, no, there's this really yummy vegan uh, donut shop that does really good, very fluffy donuts. Um, but they also do all of their ice coffee. They do all of their coffees, but it's only with non-dairy milk, which is great for me because I'm technically lactose intolerant. I just choose to hate myself some days. As most lactose intolerants tend to do. Um, okay. I'll be at kicks. Excellent. Oh, wait, I have other messages on my phone. Non-stress conscious. It's a, it is a trip. Um, apparently what I choose to do instead is do self-imposed stress. Um, because I don't understand not being stressed, so I set deadlines for myself to get certain projects done. But like I was telling Alex before, they're, they're projects that are just for me, which is wonderful. Um, and like some of them I'll share. I've been working through some pieces, but some of it's just like creative shit that like, I, it's not for content. It's not for anything. It is literally for my own damn amusement, which is really cool. Um, that's been kind of the nicest part, but also been sewing. My fingers are slightly covered in, like, paint and fabric tack, because of course. Oh, we're gonna go do some dates sunder. Not planning on it. I'm thinking a lot, and I've said for sure I don't want you to die. So you wanna hang out? Summer nights are the best. No death allowed. Okay. That is mildly concerning, sir. Dates, 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 dates. Anyways, um, oh my god, concert tickets, ballet tickets, <gasps> holy energy, I know, okay, these are, those are expensive, I need something else, I keep calling out space, Oh, this is just clothing. Oh, fabric, though, too. <gasps> That's really cute. Cardigan combo cherry. Cozy later looks so good. That's really cute, though. Do I own that? No, I own this in purple, maybe? Okay, we're going to do that. That'll be fine for right now. Okay, I was hoping that I could find some additional gifts, but I forgot that the one place is very expensive. El Granano, super expensive. Super pricey. So, um, art studio. Let's go see Valeria. Hi, baby. Hey, baby. And turn into the side street that houses Valeria's art studio. But the smile on your face drops off as you see Jake walk out. He's gonna hide. You duck into a shop doorway as he passes by, muttering to himself. You watch him walk away and turn to, and turn to look at Valeria's door. You should just leave Jake alone and go in. Yeah, you will. Yeah, anytime now. No, enter the studio. Leave him alone. The, the studio. Oh, God. Look at the studio. It's so pretty. Um, the studio smells of paint and some kind of woody, spiced perfume. Hey. Oh, I thought you'd be here later. Did you see Jake? Yeah, I hid from him. He's being ridiculous right now. Thank you for being honest with me. Speaking of which, she twirls a strand of hair nervously and looks away. Speaking of messy, I have something to show you. Hmm. I want to trust you with a new part of me and I'm not sure I should. Do you really want to know who I am? I want you to be honest. It's a big step, but I want to take it with you. Me yeah. too. Really? Okay, then come with me. Be gay, do crime, be gay, do crime. Sorry, that's my entire, this is how this relationship goes with her. It's just be gay, do crime. Is my favorite thing to do, truth be told. You walk through Verona Beach with Valeria, holding hands in near silence. Both of you are nervous with anticipation. It feels, it feels palpable between you. You keep walking until you reach the mall. Valeria tugs you to the side. It's so pretty. Like, that's the thing, is I find it so pretty. What do you think? It's beautiful. 
Thanks. You really think so? Oh, wow, thank you. It's my last, this is my last secret. Mine and Jake's and Jessica's. We were, we are the Roses of Venus. That's what we made together. We bring beauty and love to the streets around the world. You're one of maybe 30 people in the whole world who knows who we are. It's a big secret. What, being an internationally renowned art provocateur? Yeah. Yeah, well, I guess I just trust you. That's my secret. This is who I am. I love her so much. Istanbul, Paris, Tokyo, New York, London, Shanghai, and now Verona Beach. Our last job all together was the Louvre. Got us a lot of attention. I think we're wanted by Interpol now. Whoops! And Jessica wanted more of it. The more dangerous it got, the better. <sighs> I just needed to get away from it all, you know? Why low? No chance of running into Jessica on Main Street. This is the opposite of her scene. <laughs> Valeria looks at you, the truth of her painted behind the wall impossibly bright. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, have you finished this of a wider area? Have you finished this confused it? Nope, going all confused all the time, baby. <laughs> Plus, I'm really starting to like it here. More than like, maybe. You stand together, people talk about the mural, and take pictures as the sun goes down. I do not currently have a gift. You had home. Oh, I love her. Um, date two. Maybe we'll go get Sunder out of the way and then end on, and then go to Kix and talk to Seven. Do, do, do. Oh, yeah, there is a shop here. Let's... Oh, yeah, it's just sugar and wire that I can get here. Ah! Did I get stuck? Ugh, Sunder. Hey. And Mandy. Sunder and Mandy sitting on dune. Sunder appears to be drinking. Are we uh -huh. celebrating? Yeah, being alive is the best right. Are you even alive, though, sir? I would disagree with that statement. Uh. I wouldn't recommend it. You know, most people are dead statistically. That's a lot of people. Really, a lot. Sometimes I try to calculate the number of ghosts there should be. Hmm. Even if 1% had unfinished business, that'd be millions of ghosts. All kinds of ghosts. Sultans, schoolgirls, fashion designers, farmers, everyone. Ugh. Are you really trying to be more goth than me? Um, well, so you eventually find out that Sunder is a vampire and Mandy sired him. So kind of? Yeah. No, I'm just being really anti-goth right now, Mandy. Keep up. Sorry, also I guess spoilers for this game? As I play it, as I scream about it, um, what I'm saying, I'm saying living is like the VIP section of the universe. Well, let's uh -huh. live it up. That's what I'm talking mm -hmm. about. Parker, what's a moment in your life when you felt most alive? Spend the night chatting, looking out at the moonlit ocean. Eventually, there's a silence and Mandy clears her throat. I'm getting hungry. You must be too, Sunder. How about a snack? Mandy looks at you curiously. Sure, snack sounds good. <laughs> You hear that? They're up for it. Cut it out, Mandy. What? You haven't told poor Parker about our little hobby. Kind of want to see what happens if I lie. Oh. Well, maybe he is learning from his mistakes uh. then. Ugh, Mandy, just go home if you're feeling antsy. Spoiler away! Excellent. Suit yourself, just don't stay out too late. The sun comes up fast in the summer. Mandy slinks away into the evening. Sunder glares after her. Thanks for trying to cover for me. I know it must be awkward for you. Sunder sighs, apparently at a loss for words. What was that yeah. about? Don't want to talk about it. Not right now. Okay. Mm, well, I do. He pointedly ignores what you said, instead rubs your arms gently. Sunder's hands aren't any warmer, but the friction helps you relax a little. Really? Really does it? I'm going to disagree there. He takes off his jacket and settles it around your shoulder. I kind of don't want the jacket. Okay, cool. I've got cool shades. Here, I got you a little gift. I always wake up too late to use them. Edgy vampire being an edgy vampire? Yeah, 100%. Hmm. Thanks. I guess I still have some things I'm not ready to talk about yet. Yeah, like the fact that you are a vampire, sir. Do another apology? I'm sorry, I guess. 
Let's just forget all about this. I'll walk you home where it's warm. Take your goddamn coat back, sir. Walk together through Verona Beach until you arrive at your building. You give him back his jacket, he puts it on gratefully. I know you're probably furious with me right now, but just listen for a second, okay? <laughs> Poor Mandy ran her mouth. I had so much fun with you tonight. Usually around now, I get the summertime blues, but for you, I feel so alive. Which is funny because you're dead. Like, all my dark thoughts don't weigh me down. Honestly, I don't want to go back to my lonely apartment. It's like a crypt. I'd kick myself later if I didn't ask. Can I come up? And do what? Oh, we can watch some net TV or talk? <laughs> on the... The fact that the rose came out. Mm -hmm. So what's your final answer? No. Mm -hmm. I'll try to be patient. I know. I know. Right? Dr. Holmes is an interesting person to say at least. Okay. Int good. I, I, like, I think I'm just curious. That's just it. I want the storylines. Like, that was the main thing with everybody. I wanted to get through everybody's storylines, even if I wasn't super interested in them. Um, I won't be doing that necessarily in this. Sunder I'm mostly doing because, like, because they're a really strong weapon. But now that I have seven, I should be fine. I do fine with seven. I do fine with Sawyer with the glaive. And I also do pretty good with pocket once I've got them. Like, Valeria, I'm great at, but it I just needed, like, time. I need the other ones. Basically, the first two I suck with. Well, not suck, but... Mm, you just get this. I don't actually give you a response. Let's get seven. I'm gonna go... I love seven. He starts off... I forget that he starts off, like, so, like dower unfortunately but he's one of those ones that like really unwraps and unravels and eventually you're just like nope never mind i love you and i need to protect you you see seven sitting alone poking at his phone oh it's you hey hey seven puts away his phone and looks at you expectantly so it's an awkward silence uh... so what's your favorite blade generation album Never heard of them. Seven smiles as if it's a joke. Oh. You're serious. Oh. The Blade Generation is my band from Korea. Double Platinum. No big deal. You don't listen to a lot of music, I guess. Too busy? Do you watch Net TV? Monster killing takes time. Yeah, maybe it'll take less time as you get better. Sir. Well, since you don't know Blade Generation, I guess you don't need an autograph. Would you like to offer a gift? I don't think I have a gift for him right now. <laughs> so we're done here then? Let's done sometime? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can try that, I guess, but... Listen, no one believes Tony Hawk exists IRL! <laughs> Fair. I'm pretty busy. I have to prep for our comeback in the fall. Ugh. I don't know if I can risk going back to the dungeon. My agent would sue me if I got any scars. Takes a sip from his coffee, makes a face. Something wrong? Yeah, I mean, not really, but Ugh. they use the wrong milk. Uh -uh. No, no. Talk to a stranger? More than I have to? No uh. way. Wait, why is she coming over here? Shit, cover for me. Cashier approaches the table nervously. Hey, I'm sorry to bother you, but you're Seven from Blade Generation, aren't you? I'm Olivia. Seven looks at you and shakes his head slightly. Mm, you're mistaken. Uh -uh. No way, I'd know that bias wrecker's face anywhere. Wait, that oh, means. My God! Oh my God, oh my God! Blade Generation is in Verona! Calm the fuck down, Olivia. Huh? Maybe even Sung Woo is here too? Seven's face closes, becoming carefully blank. <laughs> Olivia rushes away, typing on her phone excitedly. Are you okay? Whatever. Can't come here anymore, I guess. Thanks for having my back, though. Later. Guess there's still the dungeon if you want to. Monsters won't bring paparazzi. Poor baby. Seven slouches out, met by an expensive looking car outside. You head home. Yesterday someone compared Olivia to- Really? Interesting. Also, yes, chain lightning. He is literally a sword, like a laser sword. It is great. 
That's why I'm like, I just needed to get to at least him because then I have somebody else other than Valeria. Also, Olivia to Aaron. Like, I can get it. I think I've also seen similar comparisons made before because, Sunder, you are always too much. Never. Um. Beach? I don't know. Okay, sweetie. I'll think about it and get back to you. Okay. I feel bad for the boy. I am going to be this. I, I'm just going to troll Sunder now. That is the new game here. All right. Back to the dungeon we go. <gasps> you can see this. That means so cute. Hi, baby. Hello, baby. Da -da -da -da. Literally, laser saber. Listen, it is my favorite. It, it's not the dagger is dagger is great. Laser saber is also amazing. Oh yeah, because it saves every four floors, I think, or every two. I don't know. Deeps fear of change. Okay. Don't tell anyone we did this. Okay. <laughs> Don't even talking about. Oh god. Oh, this works. We strong. Yeah, it said those, but I think if I hit seven, it would have actually saved it as well. I just, because I made it slightly further, then it'll do that instead. I wouldn't mind chilling here if you're in fit. Yes, please. But I'm also going to grab all of the money first. Apparently, I'm that person. These chairs aren't worth the money or the time. They're just trying to rip people off who can't afford a real massage. Uh. They're basically a different kind of dungeon monster. Evil vibration monsters. Let's destroy yeah. them. Yeah, destruction. See, there we go. Chaos boy after my own heart. He winds up and kicks the side of a massage chair. Seven wins is stifling a shout. It seems he's hurt his foot. Oh, baby. Um, I don't remember what gifts are good for you. I will. What an idiot. There's better ways to destroy things. That'd be fun, huh? Nuh-uh. Nah, be selfish to me. I can spend my energy in other ways, I guess. Whatever. Oh, you were... You, we had you there for a second, my dear. Okay, that one has to go to Sunder. That one I'm giving to Jonah. The teddy bear is really cute, but I think that's for Sawyer. Jonah. Oh, I don't know. The racing game is probably also Sawyer, unfortunately. So I think... That's, see, that's just it, is it chain lightnings, which means it, like, basically lightnings the area around me. Which is, as you can imagine, wonderful. Ooh, a full two dollars. Oh, cool, more fabric. Do we need that? Yes, we do, baby. Shoosh. There, there, seven. You can just calm down. Nope, that's gonna lead right back up there. As you imagine, dope as heck. Yeah. Teddy bears love by seven. Oh, is it? Oh, thank you. It's obviously been a minute, so. Come on, come on. I love the laser saber, as you can tell. This one is pretty great. All right, dope. Down the stairs we go. Next level. This is fantastic. 
Okay. Just gonna do a lot of this. I love. Oh god, I forget how much I love it. So good, obviously. This is a terrible room, by the way. This I have some regrets. Good thing you have insurance. God damn it! Okay, well. Did not do nearly as good this time. It's okay. That's okay. We will, we will get back. Yeah, that was a close one. The problem is I get so... I get very um, risk-taking with, with, with the laser saber because I'm just like, ah, power. Going down. Oh. I love this game, though. My gosh. I hope we weren't followed. You were not, sweetie. Don't worry. Yes, this entire game is just me reassuring Seven now. Okay, well, the downside is that it's useless, but... Do, 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 do. I actually dodged out of the way successfully. That's weird. Get back over here. Oh, God. There we go. How did you miss getting into this room, little dude? Feels weird. Come on. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem, is we are just very, like, we can just attack everything and it will not hurt me, except for that's a lie. Ooh. Business suit amethyst? Sweet, I can run around in a suit. Yeah. It really is with this one. Which I much prefer over, like, I don't know. Some of the other weapons, just because, like... The stock you need to be good at in order for it to like help you any. This is a very weird space. A lot of money is hanging out over there, and I will get to it, but, like... Okay, there we go. Whew. The snaking pathways is a weird one there. There we go. At least the downstairs escalator is right, right there. Okay. Oh, there we go. Wire. Also, yes, I'm bad at using zines. I'm already aware of this. I don't know why. Do you want to up? Oh, God! What the hell did I fucking land in?
That's why I kind of like doing this because it's just because chain lightning works in such a good way. It means that I can just consistently keep doing damage everywhere. Oh, there's another fucker over there. It's mostly for the area damage, I won't lie, because then it's, I don't know. What the fuck is over this way? Why is that going up? That's not, that's where I came down. Oh God! What are you doing there? Why is the vampire TV? I didn't agree to go up this way. Oh Jesus. It's fine. We're doing just fine. I'm not absolutely panicking at all. I don't know what you're talking about. There's no panic in my voice whatsoever during any part of this. There is no screaming. There is no... Oh, God! Nope, there's screaming. Fuck it. Nope. Yeah, I'm aware this is really dangerous. Okay, well, I'm on my last heal. Fuck me, I guess. Yes, it's a rest center. Fingers crossed I can find something to heal my ass. Turns out I can't. Oh, I meant to check before if I had any gifts from... Actually, no, you said teddy bear. Teddy bear's gonna happen. Except for it doesn't matter because it's nearly full up anyways. But I'm not supposed to. Ice cream's like the best way to gain weight. That and rice. It can be our secret. <laughs> I wish my agent has an app that tracks my vitals. Mm. And she can fire me if I even gain two pounds. So no such thing as an ice cream secret. But that's okay. I'll keep an eye out for other secrets we can okay. share. For now, we have some work to do. Okay, good. I don't have the opportunity, so I will wait. Oh god, this is another weird one. Come on, all of you show the hell up here. I will. Come on, I dare you. I like how the box is being moved. There we go. All right, that wasn't too bad. Super Korean, I know, right? Oh, I feel bad for the boy. Vodka recipe, excellent. So just get potato. Please don't tell me I have to use wire for this as well. I have a lot of questions about our vodka at that point. Okay, 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 okay. Let's go next level. See, there we go. This one has an elevator, which is great, because that means um, I can start on this level later. When I inevitably die! Ooh, like soon, probably. I'm getting a lot of fabric on this level. Okay, so I can go south, but there's already definitely a creature over there. Nope, this is a mystery room. This sucks. Come on. I only have so much health left. Whew. We are stretching the thingies at this point, y'all. This is... Oh, I forgot. This is so much more intense and involved than my normal dating sims. For the record, I normally just play straight up and down dating sims on this channel. 
That is mostly what I do. Although apparently we're doing Parker Panics Month in uh, October, which is me playing scary games, um, which is probably just gonna be me screaming. Much akin to last October. As we all, as anybody who was here last year already knows. There are quite, there are clips of me just like fucking screaming. Oh, we will be. I, we have decided that is what we are going to do. Yeah. Um, why? Couldn't tell you. Apparently I'm a glen for punishment. Yes, Boba! <laughs> North American arcades are kind of funny. Mm -hmm. They're so old and chill. Nobody's trying to be a pro. Mm, wanna fight me? Or wanna play co-op? Play yeah. co-op. Yeah, okay. I heard this Moon Hunters one is pretty good. Never found the moon, though. You be the shapeshifty druid, and I'll be the swordsman this time. Ha! Spend some time beating... Oh, uh, you might like the video game. Love it, right? It's cute. You spend some time beating up pixel monsters and collecting loot. Seven runs over and resurrects you each time your character falls. <laughs> yeah, it's a good thing you're more careful in real life than in the game. I am not, my dear. We're not. Seven smiles, wiping sweat from his eyes. Winning is hard work unless we work together. Why are you so cute? I kinda like these little vampire TVs, is that weird? All right, come on. Ooh, we do not want to engage in this battle. Why? Because I have some sense of self-preservation. Welcome. I will also still drink. Um, how's it going? How we doing? Oh, Jesus, fuck. We made a life choice. We made a life choice. We made so many life choices. Some, some, not a lot, but some sense of self preservation. Yeah. I keep laughing. I made this comparison the other day where, and I keep making this comparison, um, where any TTRPG character I make, the main difference between me and them is the fact that they have a sense of self-preservation. I apparently do not. Something I really need to fix. <laughs> but how's it going, Katzy? How you doing? Okay, I guess we'll change weapon now. Fuck you, Sunder. We'll go Valeria. Oh, I forgot. This is now we start rolling. You see me rolling. We rolling. We rolling. We rolling. That is literally all we do as Valeria, for the record. I don't know why that is my main tactic, but that became the tactic. Freaking out, still got work to finish. I haven't started packing. It's all sitting on my couch. I haven't started packing either, so don't worry. So, for the record, uh, for anybody who's wondering, Katsy, uh, a friend of ours, and I are heading to Michigan tomorrow. Weird, right? Uh, first mini road trip, I guess, of in a fucking while, in a hot minute, uh, to go to the Michigan Ring Fair. And I'm very excited. Oh, thank God. Do I have anything to give you, my love? I don't really think so. We're just gonna come see you. <sighs> Feels nice to stretch out after a long session of stabbing monsters. When I'm a dagger, I'm more focused, but tends to. Um, does it hurt? Uh-uh. No, it's good exercise. I just need to stretch afterwards. Yeah, I'm really excited. I haven't been to a run fair, like, in a hot minute, and I miss them very much so. Um, so yeah, poor Katsy has to stick with me in a car for five hours, and, uh, don't know if H-Dogs told her any of the horror stories of any length of time with me in a car. Thanks. Um, has often turned into work. I wish I was actually kidding. H-Dog has, like, gotten dragged into a lot of shit by being stuck in a car with me. Normally it's around eight hours, but don't even say that. I already... There is something I've already been tempted to put you through on that car ride. I probably should not, though. I should probably be kinder than that. Oh, 
Come on. Come on. Okay, come on, baby girl. I win. Um, oh god, okay. <laughs> you think it's exciting, it's really not gonna be. I'm not sharing it on stream just in case. So you'll understand later. <laughs> There's a- oh, this is the boss! I didn't realize we're at the boss! Shit! I am not prepared for this. Cool, we're already at the level boss. I don't remember how this just goes. Do, 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 do. I definitely need the laser saber for this! Oh, fun. I forget that you barely get any hits on this fucking thing. Oh, I know what to do with this, I just don't remember. Yeah, we're gonna die very soon and that's okay. We're gonna come back in with somebody else later. Um, yeah, we are, that's the nice part. We are fairly close to stores and stuff like that. Damn it. I got so many hits that time. I definitely need to come in with more. Chain lightning is a really useful one just because how many creatures you're fighting in this. Hello, Nyx. I can see my cat out of the periphery. Hi, sweet pea. You picked a terrible time to show up. I hope you know this. She's just like, Mother, what are you doing? Mm. Ma'am. Yeah, I... Probably. B, what are you doing? Mm. Hello, and welcome to my kitchen. This is Nyx. What are you doing, little sting? What are you doing, bug? B. What are you, what? Mm. Mm. Hi. She's like, mother, no. Mother, leave me be. It's not what I wanted from you. Hi. Yeah, your dry food gets dropped in like 20 minutes, B. She's like, so? You realize this is exactly where my hand goes for my mouse, right? She's like, but what if I sit on it? This is the void. The void child is good. It gives a wet food human. I know. She's so silly. <gasps> the bee? Are you a silly bean? Yeah, you are. We do love her, though. How about a movie? I can go for horror action. I just, like, cracked my back. I'm not gonna lie. That was fun. Action. Ma'am. Ma'am. I will send you photos later, Katzi. I'm presuming you mean about what I've done been doing. Oh, with oh, and this the character I got going here? Yes, I will I will we'll see that in two seconds. Okay, let's go. Because I bought a new one too, actually, so we'll see if I need to switch. Don't bring the fan club. I have no intention of doing that, darling. See, this is what we got the Borrego one. Um, we do have a suit, though. I did purchase... Oh, yeah, we got the leather jacket, which is real cute. We also have this, the cardigan combo, but I think I like this for right now. No, can you not eat this? Ma'am. Hey. She started chewing on my earbuds. I do love this, though, the bomber jacket, because it's like you're wearing a bra with it underneath. I... What do you think you're doing? 
None of this is for you. Cats, man. The... You silly stink. She's like, if I eat this, then you will pay attention to me and give me food. And I'm like, that is not how this works, baby. Okay. Exit. Still good. Okay, let's go, let's go on a date. Let's go on a date. And then we're going to go kill that monster with seven. Pat da -da. One moment, please. This has been temporarily interrupted by somebody who doesn't know how to behave themselves. Not naming any names, Nix. She's just watching my earbuds. Like, it's the funniest thing. No, it goes in my pocket, Nebby. You're being a little stink. Welcome to cat ownership life. Hi. Okay, what if I hold you? Psst. What if I just hold you? She hates this after a while. It's really entertaining. Mm, hi, B. <laughs> you can see her tail starting to go, and she's like, no. Mother, I love you, but I love you. Mm. That was such a look of mother, please. Oh, I love my cats. She she hates me sometimes. Oh, do you? Oh, good. She doesn't always like being on camera. But she always shows up. Mostly because she wants wet food. Oh, as she like headbutts my chest. She she is an absolute cutie. Hi. Me. What if I just hold you? What if I just? I'm giving you scratches. You can't be that mad at me. She's like mother. I will be. <laughs> what? What are you doing? She's such a goof. But yes, my, my little black void, this is Nyx. She is an absolute, she looks like my other cat called Jasmine. Oh, that's amazing. B, e. no? <laughs> she is booking it to her food because she thinks I'm heading over there. Oh, she'll be back, I'm sure. She's so silly. Fuck you, naked steel. Nobody wants to go there. Date. We are dating. I love this. You and Seven find your seats as the movie starts. The film features a virtuous hero struggling against the odds to save her son. Can't We can do this, but we have to work together. <laughs> I bet the son's going to become a sword to save her. A katana, maybe? For long, the sidekick dines in seven frowns. Eventually, the hero mother emerges victorious, son standing proudly beside her. Let's come up and you leave the theater. Oh, man, I set my expectations too high. I mean, it was fine. What do you think? Mm. Mm -hmm. Well, you knew it wasn't a documentary. Would you like to offer a gift? Yes, teddy bear. Thank you for that hidden advice. That worked out great. Oh, the idea of you sewing this for me is almost too cute. You precious bean. Okay, long distance chain. Ooh, I do like stunning. Here, the thing is, the chain lightning is like delightful. Okay, I'm starting to see what you mean about like the comparison between Olivia and Eric because Olivia is just the female version going after Seven as opposed to, excuse me, Eric going after me. She might not be as bad, but she's not good. Hey. Seven makes faces of, of pleading silently for a rescue. Okay, bye, Olivia. Haven't seen you around the cafe lately, but I wanted to give you something. Seven, I, I wrote this personal yeah. letter. Yeah, I'll take it. Fans are important uh -uh. to me. Uh, sorry, no, sorry. Can you deliver it for me? No. Oh, my God. That's, like, the worst part. 
It's for Sung Woo, my ultimate bias. Can you give it to him for me, pretty, pretty, please? No. He stares at her for several uh, seconds. Uh. Nah. Seven walks away. Huh? Wow, fame sure has gone to his head, huh? No, you're being really awful. Olivia holding an envelope. Sung Woo is written on it with Hurts for Rose. Yeah, so it's not even for Seven. It's for Sung Woo, but it's like still... That's stalking. It's not stalking if I don't bother him. It's just the letter. Nothing creepy in it either. I'm sure there's nothing creepy in it. Hmm. She sighs dreamily and wanders away. Ma'am? No. You head home. I, listen, Seven, don't even blame me, babe. Had to go. I'm sorry. Talk to you later. Okay. To the dunge! Alright. Head back to the dungeon. Um, see if we can't beat this battle. Beat this this final one. Nothing uh, <laughs> What's the lock of hair doing in there? Oh, God. Can you imagine? Go. Eleven. Okay. You get in the elevator. Going down. I'm yelling, Timber. You better. No. Stop that, Parker. Stop it. I wonder if any of my sponsored brands are sold here. This is mean. Doing this battle before we get into like the boss battle of this section is like rude in my opinion. Ooh. I do like the fact that this now does that. Yes, I am 100% scanning this. Oh, is there a chest over there? Fuck. I want the chest. That's the problem. Here's the thing. If we've learned anything about me is I will go for the treasure. Nine times out of ten. Because I'm awful. Oh. Do we have any other? No. I will. You can't eat ice cream, though. You've been through this, sweetie. Um. Hmm. Okay, well that worked. No gift. Come on, I would like to get through this. Hey, here we go. That's even better. I mostly was going to go for what was over here. Gourmet cupcake recipe. Interesting. I'm going to go back to study up on everybody's like likes and dislikes. Oh, fuck me. Come on, do to do to do do to do 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 There we go. Okay. Whew. I did not just hit the door. I don't know what you're talking about. All right, next level, let's do this. Oh. All 
Okay, so I'm going into this pretty okay, which is impressive. I forgot that this one sucks. Provided that this is even the next fucking snot. Kind of mean that they let you go through so much of this place and like wear yourself down a little bit and then give you the fucking boss level. Not going for the carbs means you can suddenly do chain lightning. I mean, you're not wrong. Well, that is wasted on me, but that's okay. Well, that's a cat, I guess. Sort of. Don't you like yeah. art? Sure, I like art. Art's fine when it's good. I don't see the point in that art if it doesn't make me feel anything. I love music because it's all about the moment, the experience and the emotion. Mm. This doesn't look like my old cat, so it doesn't feel like much to me. I'm what kind of cat? I would give up so much for fluffy bread. I love bread. I, oh. Okay, listen. Better call Saul here. Just, I will easily start talking about food and I will lose a half hour of the stream to just talking about food. Specifically, very frequently, pizza. This is, I, we can flash back to the moment when earlier I said I was lactose intolerant, but how I pretty much hate myself. Thank you, BK Pizza Time. <laughs> oh, potatoes are also so good. Uh, we also are huge fans of garlic bread in this house. Um, but pizza, pizza reigns supreme. Here's the problem. Here is the issue. I have a freaking salad in my fridge for dinner tonight. That is what we did to ourselves. But I would like pizza now. I would like some pizza. As a treat. Pizza time. Pizza. Anyways. No, stop it. Focus, Parker. Focus. Is it a problem? Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> it's, it's, it's a problem because it's salad and I'm trying to be good. And I'm trying to try and do this. I'm sorry, wait, what? Sweet potato gin? Sorry, I also love gin. Out of sweet pot I'm Color me very curious. I am so intrigued right now. When I was a cat, my cat was black. I need him podu, which means grape in Korean. Pizza bagels, because when you have pizza on a bagel, you can have pizza anytime. Where's Two Flower? That game lives with me far too much, and I will blame them for this. Thanks, BK. <laughs> the salad will not always be there for me. <laughs> His eyes are round like grapes. We played tag running across the apartment. We gave him to a stranger when we moved away to Korea, though. Uh... I'll be had a happy life, but I'll never know, so no paste point in wasting time on it. You need another cat, my dear. Pizza bagels are always the answer to life's problems, let's be real. Fuck. Do 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 do. We're just gonna kill all of the things. That worked out surprisingly well. Every time I have thought that I would be like able to go do the boss level and I'm like ready for it, it has not yet been the boss level and I'm getting very Annoyed. Oh. Here we can go. Okay. 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 Mm, mm, mm. Ow. I just cracked a bunch of things in my back, I think. All right. We have chain lightning. The chain lightning does the thing. So no, so no one told you life was gonna be this way. Jobs joke, you broke. You love life, steal away. I can't sing. I'm so sorry. Been stuck in second gear when it hasn't been your day, your week, your month, or even your year. But I'll be there for you. I 
appreciate this. Ow, hey, yeah, no shit, ow. The nice part is the paralysis has actually been helping a ton here. I have cleared so much. No, Sawyer is the cinnamon bun, and I love. Probably could have waited to use that. Damn it. Okay. We're not doing too bad, especially with the heavy shots. Make it over there faster. Yes! Boo yeah! Okay, we are whew, a lot better than I normally expect us to be doing today. I forgot about the plushie. Look at the little plushie. Sorry, I just killed it. And doing far better. Okay, thank you. Considering I haven't really, I haven't played this game obviously in two weeks. And before that, I haven't really touched this game since I finished it like a year ago. So this, this is good. This is going great. Especially considering two weeks ago when I first picked this up, I was like, I'm not doing good at this game. Honestly, Sawyer makes a huge, uh, Seven rather makes a huge difference. Sawyer is a cinnamon bun and needs to be protected though. I, like, and I still have, you can barely see because my, my thing here, but like, I still have three health potions. Hi, Sawyer. I'm just gonna open up everything else and then we're gonna see Sawyer and be very happy with our lives. <gasps> Glitter eyeshadow. Hey, BB. Oh, the glaive is also really good. I'm not going to lie. The tip to pull arm is a little unwieldy in your hands. Poor baby. Look at that poor crack. As you touch it, it transforms. My sweet summer child. Just like salt. <laughs> hey, whoa. Careful. Hi. I'm Sawyer. Hi, sweet. How are you, babe? Sorry I'm a little long. I don't mean to be awkward to wield. Oh, sweetie. Actually, I didn't mean to be down here at all. Oh, I adore you. My memory's fuzzy, and my head hurts like crazy. I feel like something's missing. If you are a loved one... Weird. <laughs> if you are a loved one to ever been imprisoned in a dungeon, better call Saul. <laughs> I guess I should go to the hospital. For soul, my really. Oh, my blacksmith. Yes. Yeah. But all that has to wait because I'm late to history class. Oh. You have strange priorities, my dear. Tardy. My professor's gonna dock me points for sure. I feel like you've already missed a few classes. I hate to but, break it to you. Um, maybe I can buy you lunch to say thanks. You may be entitled to financial compensation. <laughs> Yes, exactly. Here's my number. Bye for now. They hurry away towards the exit. Sweetie. Sweetie. Sweetheart. Darling. We completed the dungeon. This is exciting. Okay, cool. Oh, and seven's also max. Oh, thank goodness. So, we are doing great. This is wonderful. This is exciting. 
Ever been in an accident that wasn't your fault? You need an injury lawyer for you. Oh, God. I'm still, oh, goodness. Seven, baby. Okay, crafting. Let's do some, let's do some crafting. This is just blank recipe. What is, what is, ah, excellent. Glitch. I love a good glitch. We don't know what we're crafting anymore, friends. Amethyst business suit. Beautiful. Well, what I, okay, that's all there. This is the gourmet cupcake recipe. Don't know what I'm making anymore. We've hit this fun glitch. British hats are the best, right? You made vodka. Ooh, silver ring. That can go to the lawyer. Yeah. Um, that needs more. Okay, I think I've done everything. Oh. Yeah, no worries, PK. Take your time. Do what you need to do. Make yummy food. Go make pizza! Listen, if I have to be tortured, everybody gets to be tortured. Alright, I apparently have a bunch of things. Puts most monsters to sleep, which is pretty cute. But I'm gonna keep what I got going. Um. Oh, the two villains turned out. Okay! Give the silver ring to Sunder and let him burn. <laughs> can't make pizza. I got responsible groceries. Boo. I can't. Literally, this is coming from the person who says they have salad in the fridge to eat tonight. So, like, can't say shit. Really. Am I going to anyways? Yes, because I am what? Sassy. Um, if I have learned anything about myself. Oh, God, there's so many messages. Hey, nice meeting you. It's so cool to meet another non-binary person. You're so powerful, too. I forgot you're a cute little NB bean. You're non-beanie. You don't have a beanie. Sorry, there's a TikTok audio that I have saved that I just haven't had the chance to use that's like, oh, you're non-beanie. You don't have a beanie. And it's so cute. I'm disappointed in myself as well. It's okay, it's okay. You are forgiven because I have that power. Sure. Anyway, I can always, if you're free, I can always buy you breakfast or lunch. No, you can't, sweetie. You're a student. At Kix, it's my favorite place. Okay. Sure. Sure thing, baby. Sure thing. Might not be. Eric? Fuck you! It was loud, I'm aware. Um, something about the movie. The characters are so stupid. The villains should have seen them coming. Fictional characters make the worst decisions. Um, we're all dumb sometimes. Not that dumb. Not when my life's on the line. Or yours, I hope. Oh, well. My agent gave me cop tickets to a concert. It'll probably be awful. Some newbie locals don't even have light sticks. Not that you need one since I'll be there. Want to go with me? Sure. Take their beanie! No, they don't have a beanie! They're non-beanie! It's just, they're missing their beanie! It's because to go steal a beanie from someone else. 100% how this works, right? You don't, if you don't have a gender, you can just go steal it. They can beat gay do crime to a whole new level. I am playing as a non, as a non-binary in this game. I am personally gender fluid, although I veer towards non-beating a lot, a lot of days. Um, mostly because I don't know. I just, it's, I, I don't know. I have a fun relationship with gender. It's something I'm still figuring out. Um. Oh my god. Game? I swear to god. Hey, I'm getting weird vibes from my basement. I mean, the club's basement. It's always been creepy, but this is different. I think I saw a monster down there. I'll check it out. This is how they become the non-beanie. The gender goblin takes your beanie in the night. <laughs> You're not wrong. That is 100% how um, you become a non-beanie. You're, there is the gender goblin. It shows up. It's kind of like the boogeyman. And it shows up in the middle of the night and steals your beanie. One day I had a beanie, one day I didn't. And some days I have it again, and sometimes I don't. Sometimes they return the beanie. And now I no longer have it. Anyways. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Um, it doesn't seem like monsters will come upstairs. Okay, fuck off, Sunder. Eric, what the fuck? So the gender goblin is like, Storm's evil twin? <laughs> yes. Looks like there's another dungeon under La Rosa. That idiot son will probably get himself killed down there. Good thing he has you to save him. I'm gonna, I fortunately can avoid response. 
Can't get mine because I never sleep. Um, as somebody who discussed, even I have a D&D &D session at 9 a.m. tomorrow, that's an early session. I mean, that's exciting though. Is it like a regular game or is it a one shot? Are you, are you running it? Are you playing it? Sorry, I suddenly have like 20 million questions. This is what happens. Bowler cap, bowler cap. I still like this though. Amethyst suit, amethyst suit. I'm still gonna keep wearing what I'm wearing. Exunts. All right, date time, date time, date time. Also the dunge. That's an early, I know, right? It's a very early. I don't think I've ever done a session that early. I've done 11 a.m. before, but it was in person and we were doing brunch. Um, so it worked out great for me. Olivia, I know you work here, but GTFO. Where I find Sawyer and Olivia arguing. No more freebies. You haven't worked here for like a year. Now we're very unorganized, but it's meant to be a regular session for a campaign that... Sorry. Cold Frank! Sorry, I love rogues. Okay, so here's the thing. I am someone who loves the rogues in the sense that I am always playing... Even if my character isn't outright a rogue, they are always a rogue in some way, shape, or form. It's a little silly. Um, it's just, or I'm playing an outright rogue, which also happens. I There is a fantastic Blades in the Dark game, which is all up on YouTube if you go to Huntsman's Hydra. Um, I should put that as my one of my auto thingies for the next little bit. Sorry, I'm gonna update that. Um, but we play, we've got eight sessions of us playing Blades in the Dark and I basically play a rogue and it's fucking great. Um, but that's exciting that it's in person too. Um, my, we actually just played D&D &D last night. Where's Katzi? Katzi, where are you? We just played D&D &D last night. Um, they, I run the game though. I am not playing in it. I run the game. Um, Katzi's one of my players. We've got a handful of others and yeah. Eventually I will run more random one shots and stuff like that for anybody to join. Cause apparently people want to play with me. I don't know why. Yes, yeah, so Huntsman's Hydra, find them Twitch and YouTube, also Twitter. Um, they are fantastic, fantastic people. Um, our entire Fire in the Dark, which is a Blades in the Dark game, is on there. I play Asher Claw, who is, she's she is that game's equivalent of a rogue. It's wonderful. I fuck off and steal from vaults and may or may not worry the rest of my team half the time, it's fun. But we have the entire first season up there. I am still personally angry at the season finale. Not at anybody, just waiting, waiting with bated breath to get my vengeance. It's fine. It's fine. Everything is fine. People want to play with you because you're a nice kind of... BK, what? No! <laughs> I am a gremlin. I don't understand. I... I don't, I don't understand. I don't know how to take compliments, okay? Listen. <laughs> Is originally Fran France Frank Ferdinand, but we shortened it to Frank. Also, my bestie is trying to make a love triangle in the group. Yes! Stan. Uh, doesn't need to be a love triangle. It's polyamory. We stand a thruple. It's good. Um, anyways. Welcome to TTRPGs with Parker. Uh, apparently, it's a wild time. I don't, but that, BK, I don't know why people want to play with me. I, but that is because at some point in time, I had somebody tell me that I was no fun to play with. So apparently that's stuck in my brain, which is a lot of my reactions now. I'm learning that's the absolute opposite. Go fucking figure. They're also a high elf. Oh, and that's why you don't sleep. So you trance. Got it. Okay. See, now it makes sense now. I love it. Absolutely nobody you need to worry about at this point, Katzi. Um... But yeah, no, I, at one point in time, did get told that, and I let that bother me for a very long time, so. They're soft corn and character. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, my goodness. That's funny. Ugh. Come on, just one more measly sandwich. I love friend big time, please. Is this your friend? Is your friend Parker, by chance, who keeps coming by here and being a jerk to Olivia? But that's, you know, how it goes. How did you know? Hi. 
um, hi, Barker. I'm just paying for us both. Uh, Sweetie. Oh, here, I found this. How many of these can I give you? They held five lumps of sugar in their palm. Look at shakes her head. Sawyer seems slightly panicked. I'll pay. Uh -uh. No, no, Parker, put your money away. But Sawyer, I swear to all the gods, this is the last time, okay? Yeah. You bet. Thanks. You're the best, Livy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I am. No, you're not, Liv. Sorry, hate to break it to you. You set a table. It doesn't look like Sora has anything to eat. You want to split this? Oh, I'm, I'm fine. Don't worry about it. As you eat, you see their eyes tracking your sandwich carefully, unable to stop staring. Oh, it all makes sense that they're playing. They're making the love triangle because they're playing a bard. Amazing. I love it. I love. You love a bard. You love it. Oh, my goodness. Okay, we stretch. Everybody at home with, with the stretchies time now. Oh, God. Okay, we are also actually, like, semi-standing for this one because... But that's exciting. That is... Oh, God. Oh, okay. I don't think my mic is picking it up, but there's a lot of cracking noises. So this is actually a stretch because I'm stretching the back of my legs. So um, if you're wondering why, also OBS, OBS, why? Oh, it did? Very clicky? Oh, good. Thanks, Alex. Thanks, BK. I'm so glad that was... The, okay, so the funny thing is it's not like I sit around and do nothing all day. I do, I work out. I work out like, stretch like a cat, a very ugly cat. Oh, no. I... Oh, I'm moving my, like, my body around. Um, I work out regularly. Like, I work out probably five days a week doing, um, more so it's, like, HIIT training. Um, high-intensity interval training. And so, that is what I actually do. Five days a week for an hour each time. So, five hours of it. Um, oof. Okay. That was good. That was also a standing, which is also really good. Standy stretch, although we did hear several pops and cracks so it's not even like that i am like bailed it's just the fact that i oh hello body i work out it gets very sore um and then i still end up sitting and doing a lot, a lot of fine work i don't know and then a sewing machine for a lot of today this is what i get for staycation week although it would have been worse if it wasn't staycation week because it means i'd just be on a computer all day Sawyer, no, no, don't slow down. Sorry, let's talk about something else. Um, I'm giving you half of my salad. My salad. I insist. At your more forceful invitation, Sawyer takes half and wolfs some two bites. Th thanks. Good stuff. Um, Here, I want you to have these, okay? It, it's the sugar lumps. Thank you, sweetie. And I'm just going to take sugar and stuff it in my pocket. Because that's not weird at all. You're a good kid. My neck sounds 50 years older than I am. Almost like I break my neck every time I stretch. <laughs> That's me and most of my joints, I think, at this point. Uh, for a, the ripe old age of 34, I am in terrible condition, actually. <laughs> my body is not a temple. It's a it's empty spirit Halloween store that's only really good a few times in the year. Hey, I was looking online yesterday and a lot of weapons in Verna Beach are getting chipped lately. Maybe there's something about the dry summer heat that makes us brittle. Maybe someone's doing it. What, chipping us on purpose? A cereal chipper? I'm not sure what the point would be. You got it, BK. Bad posture squad. Yeah, I am, uh, I'm 34. I know. Uh, well, most people tend to assume I'm in my 20s. Um, but I, no, I'm 34, I turned 35 in October, actually, I think. Yeah, no, I do, sorry, I forget my age frequently. Um, I also forget what year it is frequently. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, 34, believe it or not. I do actually take fairly good care of my skin, because I, that, I do try to keep and maintain, so... Yeah, no, I tend, I, it's always really funny to me because in a lot of like groups, especially if it's online and people are just meeting me, I make the assumption that I am probably the oldest. There were, there are no, wait, what? How is there no more hydrates? There should be more hydrates. 
That's weird. I will fix that. I don't... I made it unlimited. I definitely made it unlimited. I'll take a look at that after the stream, because that's very strange. Um, just type hydrate. They're now all free. <laughs> that's so weird. That should not be, because I made them unlimited. Long story short, for a brief period of time, they were not unlimited, because some chat not naming any names uh may or may not have spammed it because you know what we had a very thirsty thursday <laughs> yeah no i tell yeah i'm glad you also do that bk it's uh it's how i always i don't know i just assume i'm the oldest until proven otherwise i'm running into more and more 13 year olds on twitch oh boy Ooh, that's, that's oof. honestly if i hit somebody who's like early 20s i'm like I love you, but I'm going to feel old around you, and I'm so sorry. Don't mind me. It doesn't happen often. Like, it doesn't happen often that I start feeling old around them necessarily, and I try to not make it awkward. Um, I do work with a bunch of, like, early 20-year-olds and stuff like that. Um, I actually find that I tend to take on a... I found out recently that, like, a lot of the younger, like, early 20-year-olds that work at, like, work with me, like, I don't know what it is, but they just want to be told that, like, somebody's proud of them. And so apparently me being like, well, no, I'm proud of you. I'm really proud of what you've been doing. Is apparently very meaningful for them. And I'm like, this is my role now. This is this is my role is to help these youngins um, feel better about themselves, really. So I, ca I kind of take on that role <laughs> accidentally. Whoops. But yeah, no, my poor Gen Zers. Um... They are bold and brazen, but apparently still need that, like, emotional validation. And so I'm like, babies, I will give you all of the emotional validation you could want, need, or desire. So, um, yeah. It's, it's funny, but it's so weird. And I'm just like, why has nobody told you this? I will tell you this. But why has nobody else told you this? So. No, I love my Gen Zers. They are pure fucking chaos a lot of the times and I stand. I don't know. I, I love it. I love it. I then I later feel old, especially. <laughs> but I enjoy it still. Uh, Sawyer's eyes wander back to your plate where it only comes from rain. Wildcat growl erupts from under the table. Is there an animal loose? After a moment, you realize it's Sawyer's stomach. Uh, Discord link isn't working. Oh, one moment, please. Also, it's because parents don't say it enough, and so we crave validation because the gift the kids are crushing expectations from a young age that exponentially grew into a craving, into a, a craving expectation for appreciation. Nope, that's uh, you know what? That is very understandable. Also, I don't know why that Discord link isn't working, because it worked for Alex, clearly. Um, but... Here, we're gonna fix this. Try that. Should work. Because I just generated it, so... <laughs> yeah, the gifted, the gifted kid, kid thing is oddly enough also a millennial one. Oh no, it's fine. It, honestly, it may have been a weird timing thing where it worked for Alex earlier in the stream and then suddenly within the last half hour decided to expire. It shouldn't have, but it also could be something strange. Um, that one's brand new, though. I will double check my... Uh, I gotta update my settings anyways on... Mix it up. I use mix it up as a bot, which is a lot of fun. Um, nope, not the commands. I want my timers. I'm just gonna update this. Because we're here. So why not? Um, do 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 Nope, Parker. That is the first time that one's come up today, though. Um, and we will fix the fire in the dark one later. Okay, we're good. Yeah, it tends to be like that. Links are weird like that, and so it's always hard. But no, honestly, don't feel bad because it helps me because I don't check them myself often enough. So honestly, yeah. 
is good. Is all good. Um, another one was working at. Honestly, blame technology. <laughs> I blame technology. Okay. I blame technology and I blame coffee for literally every problem I ever have. Um, if it's something even remotely related to tech, I blame tech. Um, if it's something where it seems like I made a mistake, I say the coffee hasn't kicked in. And therefore, it is always the coffee. Usually, if it's in a profile, though, it works. I have to double check that it's even in. Oh, I haven't updated my, my beacon links. I should do that. I haven't updated my anythings in a while. I should really set a reminder for myself to do a, a regular refresh and check on my things, but I just haven't. My brain gets stuck in summer mode, and it's like I never left school. So for the months of July and August, like, I'm really useless. I joke that I'm actually useless for the first, like, nine months of the year. I don't really come alive until fall hits. I'm only good for the last quarter of the year. I hope nobody expects anything out of, out of me otherwise. Um, but that's how this tends to go. Oh my goodness. But anyways, that should all be good now. If there's any problems, please let me know. Um, but yeah, okay. We're going to continue with this for probably another hour. We'll see. We'll see where, how far we get or how what else we run into. But yeah. Sorry, cheese. Even after you shared your sandwich with me, to be honest, I can't afford to eat much. I had a good job for a while and I get free rent with, for my mom, but it's hard. So this is why. This is why I can't date him. Them. This is why I can't date them. How do people afford eating anyways? Everyone rich. Restaurants are so expensive. It's called we're not in school anymore, sweetie. I think that's also the reason why with Sawyer, because like for me personally, being 34, I'm very far away from somebody being in university because they're typically like 18 to 22. So I'm like, baby, I am I am more than a decade older than you. I cannot do this. Not in any kind of good conscience. I will be your older sibling, though. And they rip people off. Ten, Scotland's only cost like 10 cents of flour and 10 cents of butter. It's a little bit more butter than that. I'm in a business class, and it seems to me that someone should disrupt, could disrupt that market easily. <laughs> Cut out the middleman. Buy the ingredients yourselves. I mean, I can make an app that tells you how to make a dish like a restaurant would. You'd save costs by not paying a waiter and a hostess, too. Boom, what do you think? Amazing. I could call a kitchen if there's an app. Ugh, that sounds so dumb. I don't know. I hate business stuff, to be honest. I'm more into history class. I was just taking it for easy credits, but everyone in this class is so competitive. I have to come up with a business idea for my semester project, and this is all I've got. My next stop would be documenting how to turn ingredients into food. But I don't even know how to boil an egg. I tried once and ended up as a black husk. That would be amazing. Hi, Cole. How's it going? How we doing? Do a little research on egg boiling first, but then I'll hit you up for lessons. Okay. Okay, child. Uh, if I bring the ingredients, we could, does it, will you, do you think, pardon what? Sarah takes a deep breath and gathers her courage. We're, yeah, so we're apparently we're baking some eggs. No, we're trying to teach this child. Is it a date? No, because you are far too young. We've been through this. I have at least a decade on you, child. Hi, Cole. Welcome to... I'm talking about my age, apparently, today. Got a surprise for you, Sawyer and Campbell. Yeah, no. Sawyer probably does have ADHD. Good. Tired and working on some stuff to help your partner out. Oh, that's cool. That's neat. I find it funny about how one mile out from the beach, that's a, there's a vineyard. I know the the actual geography of this beach is insane. I'm good. That kid, the kid is a baby. That's just it. And the problem, this wouldn't be an issue if I was at least remotely in my twenties. Maybe I could figure it out, but I am not. And therefore, no. Um, is it a date? No. Oh, that's fine. Cooking with a friend will be fun. Educational, at least. Yes, we are just friends, sweetheart. We need to... It is just friends. I can be like older sibling energy. That's where we're going here. I gotta get to history, but let me know if you're heading to the dungeon. Okay, sweetie. I did some first aid on my cracked blade, and I'm ready to fight again. Good. Because I'm pretty sure the glaive is awesome. Heavy attacks, mobilizing enemies. Yes. Bye. Excellent. Excellent. Talk to you soon. This is literally like taught me talking to my Gen Zers at work. Like, I don't, I love them, don't get me wrong, I love them, but I am teaching, I'm like, okay, 
I will take on the role of teaching you life skills. Apparently that is something you need. I am happy to be that role model. I have been on this earth. The kid is going to start teaching you Fortnite memes. Fuck me, probably. <laughs> Ugh. Prob honestly, yeah. You have to use a lot. How much water did you use? If you didn't use a lot of water. Oh, no. Oh, I forgot how this child is. The new youth hotness is Roblox. Uh, yeah, you know what? Probably. I don't know what the youth of today are in, too. I just don't. Sounds to like to boil an egg. You have to use a lot of water. Like a whole pot full. That was my problem. Sweet summer child. I don't. I just. Sweet Sawyer child. How about that? I. Yeah. The teach me the Roblox memes. Te te teach me? No. I don't really need to know those ones, I think. Oh, you have a lot to learn. This is literally me talking to my coworkers. I so I had a coworker, love her, love her to pieces. Own up to me that she eats a bag of Doritos for dinner every night because she doesn't like cooking and doesn't like doing dishes. This is in addition to a several other things that she told me, but this is the one that obviously destroyed me on the inside. So the new plan has been, how do we get her not just eating Doritos? Yeah, right? Um, what was the other thing? She drinks a full steeped tea before going into workouts. because She does the same sort of workout training I do. And I'm like, baby, no. that You don't want to spike. Why are you spiking your heart rate like that? That's not good. You're not training your heart to do better at this. So, like, it's not going to be good for you. Um, what else did she do? Uh, no, there's other ones that were easier. I'm learning to cook and I find that repetition of the dishes is the best way to learn. It 100% is. I worked in a kitchen for a brief period of time. I was a kitchen assistant, so I learned a bunch of dishes that way. But also, I've, I don't know, I got made to do a lot of the cooking when I was younger. And so, or like to help and stuff like that. So I learned a lot, which helped. That's how you learn what you like. I'm also scared of my oven. I actually had that conversation with somebody else too recently. This is actually really fun because it was with a bunch of game devs. So it was a really cool conversation. But we're saying about how... A lot of culture today, kitchen life is very hard. I don't blame you. Okay, I can't even judge you for being scared of your oven. I was, I've been, I am still scared of toaster ovens because I am of the opinion they will spontaneously combust and I've had one spontaneously combust before. So anyways, I can't say shit. Um, but I, I like ovens. I primarily use ovens. So, but yeah, keep also good. I am happy to give life tips apparently. 34 years on this earth. I have a lot. Um, but no. So the, I had a great conversation with some game devs when I was back in Germany, uh, the other week. That sounds so weird to say so casually. Um, and so what she had said, she was like, it's very interesting learning how younger devs don't have an idea of taste because everything that is at their fingertips is based off of what they can just choose. Like, they have so much choice and freedom that they aren't forced to, like, engage with things that they don't like. It's only with things that they do like or that they choose to consume. Because of everything like streaming and YouTube and Netflix and everything along those lines, there is always that choice. But for that reason, they only are able to cultivate what they like, which is, I guess, a taste in a sense. But a lot of taste can come from figuring out what you don't like. And so, I like, I remember early mornings before going to school... There are very few cartoons on, so I watched things that maybe I didn't quite like, but I was still exposed to them. And for that reason, I had a lot more of a discerning taste. Um, so it was a very interesting conversation we had about that. So, uh, yeah, anyways, that was a whole conversation we had. It was very fascinating. And not even on that, I'm not sure about cooking pizza right. Oh, interesting. I come for cooking on a hob. Oh, okay. What do you mean by hob? Sorry, I don't know if I know what that is. Like, are you talking stovetop or on? I have no idea. I'm sorry. I am wee little Canadian. I don't always understand things. But now I'm very curious. Also, cooking tips. Okay, stovetop. Thank you, Alex. I'm going to guess that's a UK thing. 
<laughs> based on who responded. <laughs> Electrical induction hub. Okay, cool. Okay. I'm Canadian. We stole a lot of things from the UK. We didn't steal that though, okay? <laughs> okay, am I just the only person who didn't know that? Yeah, that sounds right. Anyways. Uh, like they only make content related to, um, like they only make content related to only what their kids like because they think their kids are the demographic for all kids. Yeah, okay. So it's more towards my point about like taste and specific specificities and stuff like that. Um, don't worry about your, don't, don't worry. I mean, also a little bit though with food and taste and stuff like that. Um, but no, I get that. It's. That's the thing is because we, we have so much choice and but also then assuming that, yeah, that, they, that their kids are the demographic for all kids or that their taste is applicable to everyone. It's hard because then how do you have opinions necessarily? You can probably get fine tuned detail on what you specifically like, but it's going to be harder to look at things as a bigger picture. Um, so it was a really interesting line of thought, especially with respect to game development um, and really being able to like play test and develop stories and develop narratives um, if you haven't experienced things that you don't like. Because I remember cartoons that I was stuck watching because I was like, I need to kill time before going to school, but there's only so many things on TV. Because that was before Netflix was a thing. God, that feels weird to say. <laughs> But I also remember Facebook becoming a thing when I was in university. So, like, I don't know. There's so many things now that are just, like, so common, I guess, to our current way of life. That, like, I can think back so many years ago and I'm like, I remember when that wasn't a thing. I remember owning a Game Boy that looked exactly like that. Because I had the Game Boy Advance. I also had the original Game Boy in that color. Anyways. Enough about me being old. I'm kind of... Fuck. Ooh, what are we doing? What are we doing? Um, we will go to La Rosa. I don't know. Um, Game Boy Color. Game Boy Color was great. I had that in teal. I don't know why I distinctively remember what color all of my Game Boys were. Um, I don't know why when I was younger, I used to hide my parents to watch Top Gear. That's hilarious and really cute. Game Boy Yellow. Yeah. No backlighting. Street lights in the car. I remember that. I also remember you could buy, like, one of those weird lights to, like, go in there. So good. It's not even breaking 93. I, Top Gear is great, though. It's been on for a while. That still is good. The te Yes! Teal Game Boy Color! Thank you, Alex! I had the same one! So I have... I actually have it. I think still. I think I still have mine. I have the original Game Boy. I had... It was yellow. That fucking brick. I had the teal Game Boy Color, and then I had the, like, sort of clear version of the Game Boy Advanced. Um, because this is how my parents kept me occupied as a kid. But yeah, no, 100%. There's no backlighting, so you play by streetlights at night in the car. And it was, yeah, the clip-on attachments! Which was terrible still, because you had the glare issue. Anyways. Hello and welcome to the, the very relatable streams. Love rank, baby love rank. Ready to laugh some small town garbage together? Um, if mayors don't bleed first. <laughs> uh, delighted to know that my, your partner has all of her boxes of her portable. I love that and I'm so impressed, Cole. That is, I have. I don't think I'm like, I don't have the Game Boy Advance. I think my brother took that. I do have, oh, have you, oh, hi, Cole. Welcome to, but don't, <laughs> welcome to Boyfriend Dungeon. Um, well, this is seven. He is delightful. He is a sad boy and I love him so much. Um, awful for when we have to move. Yeah, seriously. Um, no, that is impressive though. And I love that so much. I still have my original PlayStation. I don't have any of the cords, though. I just keep it. I'm eventually going to do something with the shell of it. I don't know what, though. Um, and the one clip that acted like a magnifying I never got the magnifying glass clip, though. Great for aesthetic. It's going to suck when you move. Moving just generally sucks, though, in general. Owning things is terrible, apparently. But, and yes, I have purple hair. I don't know. It's because I make it look so natural. You just don't notice that it's, like, a different color entirely. I don't Sure. Um, 
But no, Seven is hot. Seven is one of our favorites. Uh, Valeria's number one. She is my girl. Seven is up there. Um, I've already played this entire game once. It's fine. There's new DLC content, which is why we're playing right now. So, <laughs> and so there is Surfer Boy, I think Ice Skating Girl, and <laughs> a doctor with a whip. We're fine. We're going to be good. Love when she dyes it purple. Thank you. Yeah, I refreshed the color today, so it's like a much more vibrant purple. Um, I normally do this like a lot. I've been into this lavender purple for the last little bit. Um, and especially because it fades, it just is this like light lilac-y color, uh, which is fun. I was doing very bright, vibrant purple for a while, but I don't know. I did this by accident and I kept it. Hmm? You both... You're both here from Marsky and McQueen. Marsky is the name of the artist that does the music for this game, by the way. That's just it. Uh, you never really got seven to be... Fair. I, I like them. Here's the thing. I... Okay. Goth girls. Um, sad boys. And almost any non-beanie. Generally my type. <laughs> And that's totally fair. Honestly, it's not for every. He's not for everybody. And that's just it. That's why there's options. That's why there's options in dating sims. And that's why I love them. I know for some people, um, Isaac and Sunder probably do it. Doesn't for me though. Uh, Marsky is the person that does all the audio. This does Seven. all the sound the songs though. Seven. Seven of one. I only see two of you. No, my name. It's seven. It's on the list with late generation. Oh. oh. Yes, sir. Dang, we name dropping. The answer waves you inside. You bump into some at the entryway and lose sight of seven. You can go fuck yourself. Sorry, every time he shows up, I will be this angry. This, this, this is the level of rage that will show up every time this fucker is here. Out on yet another date. Come on, Parker, this doesn't impress me. I liked being your first date. I liked your... In Sorry, I need to go vomit. I don't even think I can say it. Ugh. Leave me alone. I am... Rowan is solid. Rowan is... Rowan is great. I quite like Rowan. <laughs> you always play hard to get. Classic part. Yeah, it's this fuck. I <laughs> abandoned stream. Listen, I'm just gonna barrel roll out of this myself. And <laughs> Eric is the fucking worst. Suddenly remember what game had an issue. Er yeah, with early on. Yes. Eric has been upgraded from get in the bin to burn. This he is the only downside, but they do give like content warnings at the top of it. Um they made that update a while back, but um he is the worst. And I mean also the villain at the end of this. Hey, I know this creep. You don't take no for an answer, do you? You turn him down too? I got approached a lot by fans, so I normally wouldn't remember. Ugh. Except this guy took it so personally, he basically threw a fit. Pathetic. Hmm. I'm so sorry if I'm a romantic who believe. No, I'm just gonna punch you. I'm gonna- Like, I enjoy kicking your ass at the end of this. It's not courtship if Parker isn't interested. Back off. Ugh. You think you're so great? I was- I can't even with him. Like, I just can't even say half the words. I said back. Off. God may forgive you, but no one will forgive you for that haircut. Nobody will forgive you for being an absolute shit human, Eric. It's not even a haircut. <laughs> hey, Eric, it's great that you have an anvil on your shirt. Would love to drop one on your head. <laughs> Accurate. I love the laser sword. This is your final warning. This He's a fucking laser sword. This is how you lose body parts, sir. Hmm. I'm gonna need you both to step outside. It's fine. Eric flees, pushing concert goers out of the way in his rush. No problem here, sir. Do that again and I'm blacklisting you. I don't care how famous you are. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the help. Crowd cheers as two figures take the stage. It's Mars Guy and McQueen. They don't introduce themselves, they just start in. Head down into the music. You and Seven bob to the music, to the rhythm. The crowd arounds you start to dance. The duo plays the set long into the night. 
Afterwards, as the crowd filters out, Seven squeezes your hand. <laughs> Baby! That was actually cool. I forgot that I used to like going to concerts. Fork Chain Lightning can strike two extra enemies. Yes! So the music playing right now, you can kind of hear in the background, that's Mars Sky. Yeah, bouncers kind of have to be. Can you imagine? Okay, so for the record, I am five foot one. Can you imagine if I was a bouncer? It would not go well. Nobody would take me seriously. Despite the fact that I'm a very, like, I don't know, I threaten to punch a lot of people. <laughs> I threaten to punch and punch a lot. I'm a very fighty little one. So refreshing to see people who care about the music and not their ego. Thanks for coming. Felt good to yell at that creep, too. I've been the baby of a group for so long, it felt good to be scary. Ugh. So sick of using egg, Agio. You don't even know. Uh. Though, I was kind of venting too, it's, so it's not all Eric's fault. I got some bad news tonight. Uh, Want to talk about it? Yeah, I guess I do. Thanks for asking. Mm. Sung Woo, the front man of the Blade Generation, he's changing his name. Parker as a bouncer would have to climb people in order to kick them out. But it would be hilarious. Like, you know it would be. His name is going to be Lucky. Working where I do, I've met a lot of femme bouncers, and honestly, they're the ones you least want to mess with. Not surprised, actually. Not surprised. I just, I always feel like I'm not intimidating. I've been told, actually, that I am intimidating, despite my size. Um, but it's more so the energy I give off. Uh, it's been, but, like, the second you meet me, I'm like, I'm fucking short. <laughs> And they're like, never mind. You are, you are not. Although I think also they have the good common sense to not piss me off. So it's an English word, even though that's my thing. It's the only thing that made me special to the group. Now I'm nothing. Uh. It's like I don't even matter to him, to our agent, to anyone. Uh, yeah, we did. <laughs> yeah, because I had to affirm that I was going to be the shortest of the entire group, and I knew that that was going to be it going in. <laughs> I, I am always the shortest person. If I am not the short person, it's impressive. <laughs> yeah, we have tall person energy. I get told that often. They're like, wait, you are so short. And I'm like, I just have tall person energy. It's okay. Jamie 100% has tall person energy. I was shocked to hear how short they were. So, because I was like, no, that's that bullshit. But apparently not. Um, honestly, figuring out people's heights is hilarious. Like, it's so fun to me, because I'm just like, this is curious. Oh, yeah, for you it would be, because I'm assuming you're in Europe, so. <laughs> I still have, like, four and a half-ish hours before Friday. Um, yeah, EU times, that'll do it. Very nice, very nice. We do like that. You matter to me? Hmm. Thanks. I'll try to keep that in mind. It's just so... I wish I could just... I don't know. I trusted Sung Woo, so his betrayal hurts, but it's more than that. I feel like my whole career is a joke to them, destroyed at a moment's notice. Mm. Spent all this time faking it until I made it, and I was just a nobody after all. I'm British. So is Alex! I'm gonna hug you. Genuinely, that's also my reaction. If somebody's, like, not doing well, I'm like, can I hug? Would that help? If not, I stay back. He leans into your arms, swallowing the tears. Eventually, he pulls back. So, uh, I had some extra apples, so I thought you might want some apples. He presses a small bag of peeled, chopped apples into your hands. Sweetie. Later. Um, I have to go. It'd be good to dunge later to take the edge off. Thanks for tonight. I don't have a gift appropriate for him. Sorry, sweetie. Oh, okay. Good boy. Good boy. Snap, crack, pop. <laughs> Sounds like my back. God, that Eric guy. You actually dated him? I don't care if you date other people, but that guy, I did not date him. Uh, yeah, me too. Oh, sorry for teasing you. See, like, he opens up now. I'm lucky you didn't give up on dating forever. Thanks. Hope you enjoyed your apples. Sweetie. He's such a good boy. Okay, new dunge, who dis? Let's go. Um, so I think in the second dungeon is where we find 
We're gonna see if we can level up Jonah because I have gifts for him. Um, second dungeon is I think where we start to we may encounter Leah or have the option to encounter Leah. Because I was starting to look into past this save place files. This actually kind of better without so many people. You're not wrong, sir. Um, <laughs> we go slicey and dicey. It's gonna be good. And now I'm afraid of alcohol. Yeah, Pocket's here too, but I think there's a way to trigger Leah. Um, because I want to, again, DLC content. That's what I'm excited for. You found tape. Oh, Leah's in the new dun shit. There's a way to trigger it, though, with La Rosa, isn't there? Or is it just, like, you as you get closer to the end? <gasps> Fuck, I forgot that you're like this. Forgot there's a fucking laser in this place. Ugh! Come on. Oh god, oh Jesus, I forgot the lasers were bad here. I'm not gonna lie, the axe is pretty dope though. You deserve nice things, thank you buddy. Hood Fox! Fox Hood, that... Parker. Parker, why? Parker, what's wrong with you? Many things, but like, also. I'm excited for the new dunge. I forgot there was a new dunge quite literally until this moment. So, <laughs> I just knew that there was a way to trigger it by if you had taken an old save file. Yes! Pocket. You find a set of bladed brass knuckles, something, it looks like some of the claws are missing. An engraving on the side reads pocket. Wait, is that who I think it is? No, it can't be. Meow. At your touch, the metal begins to stretch and grow. Yeah, bladed brass knuckles. Hi, kids in! The cat eyes you wearily, but allows you to come closer. You find a phone number on his collar. You put your phone, put it into your phone before he scampers off. Love the kitten. Yeah, brass knuckles. Yeah. I do like that. It's just like my cat went missing and reappeared. Apparently, you're to do with this. So I guess you found him? I did. Oh god. Oh, I forget that this is weird. <sighs> forgot that there's like very specific levels in this place. There we go. Potted succulent? Okay, cute. Well, that was good. I didn't realize destroying that would do so much. Like, that's just it is. You have to actually go up certain levels before... Oh, fuck! Come on, come on! Ooh, fuck, fuck, fuck! that you, the lasers don't shoot you when you're not on the grid floor. Yeah. Pocket's pretty great. I, I don't know. Night helmet. Excellent. I have no idea right now. I'm just trying to survive. Um. There we go. Yes, because I have a gift for you. It's been so long since I've been to a live show. I used to love music festivals. I feel like the musicians could transmit their energy into the crowd, you know? Even though the crowd would give their energy back somehow. Not good at describing it, but I love that feeling. It felt like I was part of something big. Mm. What about you? Do you like concerts, gigs, whatever cool people call them? Live music? I love live oh. music. Oh, I never knew. Marska and McQueen would come, come from Verona Beach, you know? So cute. We should go see them sometime. I love some of their singles. 
Either way, it'll have to be later because now it's time for those monsters to face the music. Yes. I'm going to assume you like this. Ah, oh, it was 50. It's fine. You can dodge directly into the lasers to avoid them as well. Yeah, no. Because, uh, yeah. The rolling, dodging normally is really good to avoid most shit. A. So it's really funny. So this place is called La Rosa, right? There actually used to be a bakery called La Rosa where I used to live. Like one of many, many cities ago. Oh, you're already at four, babe. Okay, maybe I should slow down. We'll do seven. Um, and so it's funny. Oh, fuck! That was rude! That was a rude awakening to come into. Judging what time soon. Yeah. Well, this is fun. I am slowly dying. Could we not die? I would really appreciate it if we could avoid that part. Good thing you have insurance. Shh. I'm aware that was not good. I'm aware that was not my best run. Seems like every ever since I left home and I was picking up and moving every team. Uh, yeah, no. Judging me what time yeah, no, I I don't know. Would have been easily close uh, closer to two decades ago, I guess, that I lived there. I don't know. You remember today's your birthday. Another year closer to death at least. I'm on an adventure. Think about how scared you used to be of everything. You can't help smiling as you get up. Find a package outside your door waiting for you. Inside it's a birthday cake. It's from Jesse. It seemed to be freshly baked just this morning. That's really sweet. Jesse's my cousin in this game, for the record. Um, you're about to cut a slice when there's a knocking at the door. Answer it. You longingly set the cake aside and go to answer Hi, the door. Guys. Happy birthday. I uh brought a friend. I hope that's okay. Uh as long as it's not Eric, I don't give a shit. Happy birthday. I heard there might be cake. Hi, gorgeous. Hi. Hello. Oh, I'm hydrating. Hi, baby. Sorry, this is Valeria. This is the one that I clearly go a little... Just, anyways. She's the epitome of BK do crime, and this is why we're here, folks. No, oh, I need cake and give you a couple of little presents. Nothing oh. too intense. Yeah, don't get too excited. I didn't have much warning, and I don't like shopping, so... Well, you'll see. It's tradition for the birthday kid to use a weapon friend to cut the cake. Wait, what?! Listen. Zero regrets, okay? I will always be thirsty for Valeria. Um, yep, for Valeria? Yeah. Sure, of course. I'm a bit short, but if Parker wants me to, I'm in. Feel like you're slightly more appropriate than most other weapon friends I have. Like, if I use the laser saber on the cake, can you imagine... This is it. The greatest challenge we face together. Geometry. Valeria feels warm and confident in your hands. You used to carefully slice the cake into even pieces together. Mmm, that special birthday cake flavor. So vanilla, so sure. Oh. Yeah, a bit too sweet. Kind of makes you crave a bit of whiskey this early in... Woman after my own heart. Even this early in the day. But now's a good time to give Parker my little gift. Here. Valeria hands you a small canvas. It's a colorful painting of Verona Beach. Thank you. I made it really quickly. It's okay if you don't like it, honestly. I love it. I'm glad. I wasn't sure. If you decide you don't like it, feel free to give it back, or I could sell it or paint over it. Nah. Don't you dare paint over it. Bark, if you don't like it, I'll take it. If you insist. I have plenty of work left over. Huh. Anyway, here, I got you a little something, too. Phoenix cap. Oh, I think that's the good hat. Jesse gives you an envelope. You find assembly instructions for a phoenix cap. I think that's... Yes, holy energy. Good. Useful. It's a kit. The cat hat looks a little dorky anime, but it's useful for the dunge. Can't wait to make it. Good. I was with a socks or a whetstone. Huh? Whetstone? Jeez, warn a lady first. Those are personal. I feel like that would be personal in this case. 
I mean, I'd be comfortable with Parker, but I'd rather they picked it out themselves. That is... There's some implications with that. Okay, I get the message. Remember, I didn't get one? Crisis averted. Anyway, Parker, you're another year older and wiser. Congrats. I'm glad you shared your birthday with us here on Verona Beach. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Finally, there's someone around I can share secrets oh. with. Remember how Seven had, like, the snap heart? She has the winky heart. None of your business. That's what kind. Ciao. Bye, baby. I love you. Close the door behind them and consider how to spend your day. I know, Jesse. I told Jesse. On your way home, you find a few ingots of steel on your doorstep. They're heavy and cold, but wrapped in a ribbon. The attached note says for Parker. You carry it inside. I have a lot of messages. Oh, God. Fuck you, Eric. Sorry, I get very angry with him. Hi, is this Parker? Sorry to bother you, but I really need to help. I don't know who to ask, and I'm scared. Who is this? Isaac is a true British gentleman. He likes crumpets. Occasionally says bollocks. Oh, my God. A worried weapon. A person, a stranger. You can call me yes, I guess. But one of my friends has gone missing, and nobody's even looking for her. Do you think the weapon napper is killing people now? I hope not. Sad face. I really, I think I know where they might have gone, but I don't feel safe going in there. Can you meet me? I'll explain more in person. Where? I'll be at the corner of Mercutio and Atwood. Fucking, this game is so funny with its Romeo and Juliet references. Near the museum every night. I hope to see you there for my friend's sake. Okay, cool. Interesting. Welp. You okay? Don't lose your job. He just got a new job. Head chef called me a big dumb butcher's knife, which, first of all, butcher's knives are good people too. Oh, is this new dungeon time? We're doing new dungeon time. But she was super rude and wouldn't listen, so I left. Good for you. Thanks. I already feel better, sort of, but I gotta look for another new job already. Ugh. Meet me at the beach if you want to chat sometime. Okay. I have the high ground. The cat was missing for a while and just reappeared with his phone number in his bed, so I guess he found him? If so, thanks, if so. I was really worried. No problem. Text me and I'll let him out. He likes to roam. Let him out. Kids in time. Looks like he's headed to the park. Little killer. Love. Eric, I would really like to ignore you, but unread notifications is apparently very anxiety-inducing for me. Eric? Go fucking kill yourself. I don't actually mean that. Sorry. Please don't take that seriously. I just also fuck you. So this isn't your steal. Cool. I, oh God. No. Is it that you're going away? No. I will not come by your shop. I don't actually give two shits. New dunch, new dunch, new dunch, new dunch. Okay. Okay. Okay, we are gonna, there's, oh my god, there's like 20 million things now. Um, we. I don't even know. Okay, Capulet Beach is with you. I feel like the park. Okay. Is it the museum? I think it's the museum. I don't know. Yes, okay, this is the one, this is it. Here's a hunk of steel that I didn't bother making to anything, right? Oh God. You wander around until you find the corner of Mercutio and Atwood, nobody's here, until someone walks out of the shadows clearing their throat. Hi, um, it's you, right? Thanks for coming. Tell me everything. Boss, an AI researcher at the university has been gone for over a week now. Uh. They're really strong, way stronger than anyone I've ever known. But a new wing opened under the university near their lab, and I think it's a dungeon. Oh, shit. Maybe the weapon kidnapper surprised them or somehow imprisoned them. My texts to them aren't even being shown as read anymore. I guess there's no signal down there. Either way, uh, can you make sure she's okay? 
I wish he'd come back and teach your classes. Oh my goodness. I'm supposed to be their assistant, not do their whole job for them, I think. Probably. Oh, Who gave you um, my number? I guess I might as well tell you. I'm Jesse's fiance. Oh, I'm pretty sure it's a certain doctor, but I'm sorry, you're Jesse's fiance? Hi, darling. I kind of have to owe you for the entire summer. Yeah, I think it's a, it's a certain doctor that's gone missing on this one. That's what it sounds like. I would have loved to know that your apartment, since I used to go there all the time, but I thought that'd be creepy. No, it's so nice Me to too. meet you. I thought acting like a secret agent would make no, things No, sweetie. Somehow, but it didn't. Oh, Sorry. it's okay. It's okay. I just am so excited Sorry, that you're Jesse's fiance. You. Parties are a little overwhelming for me. Oh, you're adorable. I love I'm you. Calling Samantha. I should get back before Jesse gets worried. Jesse, your fiance is so cute. Hopefully this can get resolved soon. I can't sleep because I'm worrying so much. And how am I supposed to plan a wedding when I'm exhausted and overworked? Like a Sherlock doctor. Yeah, no, I figured it's Holmes. Turns out acting like a secret agent just made it all even worse. Yeah, go figure. Never well, it made me very That's it's kind of problem. sus. <laughs> so, um, it could be my problem. I'm really good at wedding planning. Anything. Bye. I mean, night. You head home. It could be my problem. I'm real good at wedding planning. I've done it on a lot of occasions, actually. Succulent. Just gonna craft a bunch of things. Foxhood. I don't know. I'm just making whatever I've got available. There we go. Phoenix cap. The phoenix cap is super useful. This is should be the key goose. There we go. Exit. Um, because the phoenix cap, as ridiculous as I'm about to look, exit shows the mini map. The exit showing in the mini map is super useful, but the revives you once is even more useful. The key goose is funny, but I don't feel like wearing it. Um. Let's go leather jacket. Damn, that looks dope as hell. Okay. All right. Kind of want. Okay. Okay. What we're gonna do? So we've got. Oh my God, Verona Con College, the new dungeon. Okay. Because we've only got a little bit of time left in today's stream, so I'm gonna do the two dates and we'll wrap it up there and then we'll basically kick off next session on Tuesday. Good to know. Good to know. So I'm very much going to want to do these dates first. So we're going to get through the last two dates, the two dates here with Jonah and with pocket. Um, and then we'll probably wrap up there and pick this up again on Tuesday. I think that's going to be the plan. You find Jonah standing with a stranger looking out over the waves. Don't want to be a downer again, but I got rejected from two more jobs today. Hard to say sunny, sunny when you're always on the chopping block, you know? Don't I know it. My boss sucks, too. <laughs> At least you have good company, it looks like. Hey. Hey, Parker. This is Tank. He surfs with me sometimes. I try, anyway. Not often enough, it feels like. That's the benefit of having nothing going on in my life, I guess. Chopping up monsters with Parker is pretty much it. Well, it was nice to meet you, Parker, but I gotta get back to work. Good luck out there, both of you. See ya. Mm, how's it going? Could be better, could be worse, too. I'm hard to focus on the positive sometimes. I applied to be a fire axe or construction worker, but neither are for me, apparently. One said my work history was too spotty and they needed someone reliable. The other got weird when I said I was an axe. I, they expected me to be a great axe? What kind of weapon even calls themselves great anyways? Great sword seems arrogant, if you ask me. I mean, you're not wrong. Hmm. Wait, even my reference called me great. And then I'm an axe, they assumed, huh. Anyway, I guess, since my main qualification is my axe form, I should just be hired muscle. That's what I'm destined to be best at, right? I hear it pays pretty well. Okay. Undertow. It's faster and further, excellent. Will you lose respect for me if I become a security guard or something? Like tank? No. Huh? Oh, are you sure? I mean, I'll lose a little respect for myself. Maybe everything would be easier if I wasn't an axe at all. Then it wouldn't be my fallback. 
Hurting anyone is never cool, you know, but maybe I can prevent other harm. He sighs, but somehow seems more cheerful than you arrived. Thanks for sharing your evening with me, even though you're so busy. How do you find your way with so many things to do and people to see? I go with the flow. Very flowy. Huh? Really? You? I wouldn't have guessed it, but maybe that's why we got along so well. You make it look easier than it is, that's for sure. The undertow can be rough, but let me tell you. I hope the flow is kinder to you than it has been to me so far. You deserve to be happy. I mean, I do too. I just don't know how to make that happen. It's okay. He looks out over the water thoughtfully. You listen to the waves together. Hey, what do you really think of surfing? You've never tried it. Mm. Well, I'm a big fan, as you know. Never found a moment in the rushing calm like surfing. Want to try it? I could teach you a little. But totally no pressure. If you're feeling like extra go with the flow chill okay. today. Besides, you can just enjoy the sunset. What do you think? Well, let's surf. All right, let's go. Takes your hand and leads you out to the cold water. The waves pull at your legs longingly. So, first things first. Up onto the board, just lie down for now. I'll hold you in place. This is how I die. Not in a dunge, but on the water. To start, you'll have to push, uh, push into and under the wave, perpendicular to the white line. I'm sorry, this sounds like math. He swims next to you, helping you get under into the undulating calm of the sea. Here, set up on the board. I'll hold it steady while we learn the basics. Verona Beach looks so small and cute from here. Like a toy. A toy that's very far away. Sorry. Hey, you look... I should have asked. Are you a good swimmer? I think so. I'll be right here if you need me. I was a lifeguard for your... Breathe easy. Okay, a stretch. Alright, so you're going to want to bend to the knees. Keep your back straight. And everybody stretch! Oh, God, help me. We're less cracks this time. Less snap, crack, a pop. And more just, like, actually stretching now. Oh, God. He coaches you through when to swim hard and when to stand. You mostly fall, fall over and over. You experience a few microseconds of what could be called surfing. Oh, hello. And that's surfing, or at least the start of it. What do you think? Try again uh -huh. tomorrow? Really? I don't know about tomorrow, but I'd love to do this again soon. Thanks for letting me show you. It's a big part of who I am. I'm so glad you tried. Let's catch our breaths for a minute and enjoy this moment. You enjoy the quiet softness of his presence as the sun falls out of view. Eventually, you say goodnight and head home. These are much... Jonah gets a lot longer, like, intimate times. Which is cute. Yes, sir. I was a fish! <laughs> That's amazing! I'm so jealous people remember their dreams. Sometimes I wake up with a certain emotion. I hate those ones. I wish I could remember what I dreamed to make me feel that, you know? Oh, well, if you want it done... I'll see you in the dungeon if you wanna. We can dungeon if you want to. You can leave your friends behind. <laughs> Parker, why? Parker, why? Pacifica Park! Kitten! Sorry, I love the cat. <gasps> you find a familiar orange cat tail flicking. He's set on a bench nearby. His collar still reads pocket. Remember me? He seems to not hear you and yawns. Sounds right. He then stands and stretches luxuriously. Seemingly ignoring you. Wow. Pocket becomes quickly distracted and tenses up, looking at the pond next to you. Follows gaze and see happy ducks enjoying the weather. Pocket stares intently at the ducks, mouth falling, mouth slowly falling open. Yeah. After a moment, he makes a small squeaky sound, almost like he's talking. I love. The ducks, perhaps feeling watched, paddle away further into the water. Pocket looks at you expectantly, tail flicking. I'm gonna pet you. Hey. Girlfriend! I love her. Your scintillating conversation is interrupted by someone approaching. Oh, chance meeting? My favorite kind. She leans over and kisses you lightly, a smile on her lips. <gasps> and this must be your valiant protector against the evil ducks. Pocket blinks lazily in the sunlight, a soft purr starting up. Huh. Did I pat him? If he lets you. She offers her hand to him, but he hisses when he tries to move closer. Fair enough. Everyone deserves to set their own boundaries, I guess. But I just took a walk to clear my head. Gotta get back to work. <gasps> I can get pocket fish. <laughs> and away from these ducks. You be careful yeah. around them. Her kiss is prolonged and sweet in the afternoon sun. Smoochies! We got smoochies. 
When it ends, you open your eyes and realize Pocket has slipped away. Oh, I can't give you fish now. Okay. I think that's as good a place as any. Oh, he made it home safely. And his claw looks healed too. He's a good cat. He's too smart to be good. Mm, it's too many ideas and plans. That sounds crazy, but never mind. Oh, looks like. Let him out! I will play. False alarm, he came back inside. Never mind, maybe next time. Okay, fine. All right, that is actually where we're going to be leaving everything for today. Um, Because we've been going at this for three hours, and I need to go eat that salad that I've previously talked about being in my fridge. Um, So, we're going to leave it there. We're going to pick this up on Tuesday, 5 p.m. Eastern. We'll play, we're going to do the new dungeon. Um, Because I want to see it real, real bad more than I want to go back into La Rosa, because obviously we're here for the DLC stuff. So we'll pick it up there. We are going to go send some love over to the Outlaws Network. So please stick around as we do that. They are probably playing their Nuzlocke. They really are. They are playing ridiculous shit. Um, so let's hang out, say hi to them at least before we head out. But thank you for being here. Have a fantastic night. Rar. Rar means I love you and dinosaur. Um, and have a fantastic, wonderful weekend. Okay, friends? Uh, and I will see you next week when we pick this up once more. Bye bye. You don't have a room, dude. <laughs> the <chocolate laughs> been so often. If anyone is here that is not already Hello. following uh, the Pixie Parker, please, please go do that. They are an incredible creator, <laughs> incredible performer, incredible cosplayer, a little creator, incredible TikToker. The tiny, so go follow small. them on TikTok. <laughs> Yo, Alexander. what's up, Alex? How you doing? I think no. That oh. I fundamentally, <laughs> I'm gonna push back on that. I'm gonna absolutely push back on uh having a bad time with the help of brian i don't need to do nobody needs to do a damn thing for john to start spiraling in his fucking pokemon yeah, that's, that's fucking me? for absolutely true absolutely.